attention please. Advertisements are now running to support good causes. Thank you please.
Let's get ready to crumble. Good morning, everybody. Happy Sunday. Let's go. Time for some more Lord Jeffrey, Jeff, Jefferson, son, and some men of lords. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening. G'day. Most of all, good vibes. Look at that. We've got a lovely little crowd popping in over on the YouTube. Chat's absolutely bouncing. Good morning. Uh, Nephilim's over there, Lady Poet's over there, Valve Bounce is over there, good morning folks. And over here in the regular, in the big room, we got a Jorak, we've got a Specimen, we've got an Evil Trev, Gamble's here, greetings my lord. Uh, Bruce Lee's are all here, piled in. Oh, Lady L's here too, Piper's here, hey Piper. Uh, Jorak treating us to a bit of bit of Lely earlier. Uh, Nephi's over here too. Excellent. Thank you for doubling down and supporting us wherever we are. I appreciate that. Good morning, Val. Coming in with some Sunday morning cookies, everyone. Blutenum's here. Good morning, Blutenum. And good day, my lord. Hello, Zatelia. Won't spoil anything, but UFC 300 was great. Awesome. I'm looking forward to it. And thank you. Yeah. I hope I can catch up with that later. So uh, I'm doing my best not to uh, not Where's to have any spoilers. Gone? Good morning, Silver. Welcome aboard. Let's go. Good vibes, everybody. All right, let's do this. A boop. Aha. Huzzah. Hopefully, it looks like it's going to be one of those unpleasantly hot April days today, but we'll see. We'll try and get through. Uh, we've got winter number two approaching, uh, and we've, we have a tavern and a church. We have some tier two residences or level two, and we have raiders approaching our borders. We narrowly avoided a war that I might have accidentally misclipped us into, but it would appear that our neighboring uh, competitive Lord, um, Helen or whatever his name is, uh, is, uh, making quite the strides, quite the advances on our uh, proclaimed territory here. So I feel like we might need to employ a few more, a few more soldiers along the way, but we'll, we'll see. We'll get to that when we get to it. In the meantime, though, good morning, Delano. Welcome aboard. In the meantime... Let's go back to Shinyville and see what we're at. Let's see, does this screen art show for you guys? It does, wonderful, because it's, it's beautiful. So warm here today, the ice cream truck made its first round through the neighborhood. Wow, there, there you go. Yeah, good morning everybody, welcome aboard. Good vibes be with you all. Now remember this is an early access uh, press and create a preview so not the finished article can't find a storage for excess weapon storage burgage plot one what 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 is this because we're making the bows probably because we're making the bows uh but yeah things are looking uh look there's puddles forming up on the 
on the road everywhere because of the heavy rains in autumn. Amazing. Lovely. Another detail. <clears throat> um, okay. So... Uh, we're making too many weapons. Why? Hang on. Is this storehouse too far away? No, that's got two bowls in it. That's the granary. That's got eight bowls in it. 207. I mean, it shouldn't be a problem. <clears throat> Unless we need another storehouse. Can't find a storehouse for excess weapon storage. Electric shop. Don't know why we're getting that. We do have space. Hmm. No say. It's far too early for me to have to think my way through such a puzzle, such a mystery. All right. I guess we're going to have to uh, see what we can do about that. Okay, so we built... Good morning, Disco. Good day, good evening. Hey, Espo, welcome in. Exactly. Too much for me. Uh, so we've got the bloomery going. Excellent. We've got the smithing going. Double excellent. We've got uh, the tannery going, which means we've got clothing. That allows us the upgrade to our houses. Uh, we've got gulps and whatnot. We've got 92% approval rating. And we have food and fuel for 11 months plus. So I would say we're doing pretty well. However... Uh, our army. Wait, where's our army gone? I disbanded it, but I thought that was what you did to send them back to civilian life. Uh, we have livestock trading. However, we have also discovered that we need uh, a lot more money. I wonder if we have horses, if we can have cavalry. I didn't see those as a as an option, so I'm guessing that's more for field plowing and uh, hauling. Or actually, probably more for travel between your settlements than that. Hey, SB. Good morning. Good morning, Crow. Welcome in. Let's go. Generic storage full. Yeah. Where? Is it? Oh, is it because my army is disbanded? You know, it might be. Okay. Well, we need the pikemen. And we need the bow. I think that might be why. I think that's why it's upset. Just because they're not actually... I must have... Yeah, I must have fully disbanded the units. As opposed to doing what I thought I did, which was um, dismissing them for so that they can uh, go back to their civilian lives. I must have pressed the wrong button. Unless I did it here and did remove unit by accident. Maybe that's what I did. I don't know. Who knows? It doesn't matter. So, uh, I also know... That the warning about raiders has disappeared from the bottom left. Is that because we have sown peace with our neighbors over here? Oh, I wonder if that then resolved the raiders. Unclear. Unclear to me. Um, but yeah... He was fighting for this region. And yellow is here and here. So I guess we, at some point, we'll need to start expanding as well. But I need to get King's Favor. I basically need to get my manor built. Let's start on that path. Uh, da -da -da, but that needs planks and stones. Ah, okay. 
So we need to work on the stones as well, which is all the way down here. Uh, we did take sheep herding and trapping. Okay. I'm wondering if I should have gone with uh, the stone work thing, but okay. Well, I think, like, buttons-wise, I think it kind of... I think it was written as disband when you have the units actually out and rallied. That's what I'm confused about, but I could be misremembering it. I probably, you know, 69% chance it's me misremembering stuff. Um, okay, so uh, let us... Uh, let us... We've got to work on... Oh, bandit camp. Oh, look, raiders near. It just took time to recalibrate. 125. So there's a bandit camp. Uh, just over here in Waldbrand. Forest fire. War. Um, interesting. They have a rich iron deposit, though. And rich berries. I think we could maybe do with taking this... Uh, location uh and now it says that raiders are near and they're going to come in in 125 days but we don't know where from okay all right we're back in the game unfortunately we haven't resolved the raiding threat uh by all appearances look at this look at all the trees growing back from where we've been doing all of our logging oh that's so cool it's going to take a long time without the forest attending to things. That's awesome. That's so cool. Okay, that's done for this year. Uh, no one's working the clay pit. Ah. Interesting. So where have we got an excess? Uh, we've got, I think, more than enough firewood. But that's down to one person. Logging is only one person, so I think we just have too many, uh, too many jobs. We have the tavern running as well, which is excellent. So that means that the level two houses, they haven't got tavern supply though, and that's probably because we're not doing barley and all that kind of stuff yet. Heck, now it. Uh, generic storage full. Okay, uh, 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 so we need another storehouse, is what I'm hearing. Let's have one over here that's for the wood. Spare uh, a hunter. Oh, there goes Although, the channel. Just before just winter, maybe not. Hey, Jetty, let's go, Raiders. You're going to need a bigger boat. Going to need a bigger boat. Going to need a bigger boat. Welcome on in, Raiders. How was the stream, Jetty? How was the lording of the manor for you? Hey, Dutch Eagle, how you doing? It's a people power to raid. Going to need a bigger boat. Jenny regrets life choices, according to Jurak, the innocent guy in the room. Same game and same track. Nice. How's it going, Jenny? How's your? Uh, I know if you have to run and sleep, don't worry. But how is your? Uh, how is your loading of the mana? I think I saw from your title that you were on your second run already. I was conjoled into one more turn. I believe one turn, one more turn in this game does equate more or less to a year, yes. Or the next raid on your territory. <clears throat> one, whichever comes sooner or later. Uh, 
Okay, so we're doing all right on variety and all that. Uh, do want somebody to get that mining done, you know? But we do, we do need to see free somebody up. Um, oof, do we have the rough choice? Do we have the rough choice of closing the tavern for a short period? To my first game to year four. Oh wow. Oh no. Oh, that's a pity. Nice. So, what, did the save game not work, or did you just feel like a fresh start at that point? Uh, you can exhaust um, resources such as um, uh, stone deposits, clay deposits, that kind of thing. If you have a rich resource and you have the technology... Uh, for it, you can do uh, deep mining, and that becomes then in uh, unlimited. Um, but other things Thank you for the are seasonal, like berries and hunting, Happy can be overhunted. This looks very Thank you, trust anyone for the tier one and the six months of streaking. It is very interesting. Thank you, buddy, for the support. I really appreciate it. Is it me or is the music gone crazy today? Like, I haven't changed the settings. We'll just try that. Could be just me being sensitive. I love the music, but it was like, wow, I'm having to shout over it. You wanted to see, yeah, okay. Yeah, makes sense. Okay, so uh, we've got a rich deposit of stone down here. Uh, mm -hmm, let's see. For the next settlement level, we need five level twos or higher. So basically, I think we just need to build some more houses before we can continue our progress. That will also give us more uh, peasant, uh, settlers, settlement citizens that can be sent to battle. Which they do so enjoy. big vegetable garden fudge i pressed the wrong button oh that's cool some with the plots and then some with just a house on the oh look at that shape that's awesome yes that's what we're gonna do we're gonna go big or go home lots more housing everyone's so happy here that they want to come and live and fight and if necessary die for the cause Oh, fudge. Why didn't that work? Are you not connected, bot? You are connected. I don't know why that didn't work. <sighs> Big veggie gardens. Yeah. Well, I don't have the cash yet, but hopefully soon, TM. We need to upgrade uh, some more to tier twos so that we... Actually, I probably could have done that first. But anyway, it doesn't matter. Um, let's bring some more people in. We I feel like we need more uh, people in our militia. Let me try this. No oh, fudge. Oh, there you go. Oh, it did work. It was just really quiet. Like, why is that one so quiet now? Ah. Oh. 
Bum, bum, bum. Hey, Krista Doulas, welcome in. Good morning. Good Sunday vibes be with you. Yeah, I don't know. Sounds are all over the place. Thank you again for the raid, Jetty. I really appreciate it. Look at this, the beautiful night time. I don't know if we've done a walkthrough at night for a while. Yes, they should be building more houses. Come on, peasants, chop, chop. Chop, chop. I, Lord Geoffrey Jeff Jeffersonson, command it. Get to work. Get to work, you slovenly lot. Yes, yes, dig, 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 a hole, dig, as if your life depends on it, for in truth it does. I must be satisfied with your digging, or you will be shunned and forced to live in a small hut at the edge of the village. Oh, I don't know if we tried, we didn't go to the tavern yet, we only just opened the tavern, didn't we, at the end? Gotta go tavern. This way to the tavern. Man, I, 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 we talked about it yesterday. If they eventually add in a uh, a feature to go and sit in the tavern and have a meal with your peasants, or like hold a celebration or something like that, spend some money on a party, on a little festival. That would be cool. Eh. Damn it. You'll be happy to be just allowed in and out of your mana gates. Oh, really? They're closed off for you. <laughs> Lack of ale. What do you mean we have no ale? Oh. I would say the interior is a little drab. I mean, at least you can go. Wait, I just walked through the outhouse. I did. <laughs> it's It's got a lovely forecourt. But the interior of the tavern leaves a little to be desired. Oh. Oh, wait, what? I can actually step up on that bench. Not on the stool. Oh, well, that's a start. Interesting. Now I need a crouch command. I, your Lord Geoffrey, at uh, Frosty Foods Tavern, and on behalf of your innkeeper, this Winter Frosty, do hereby command that you all bloody hurry up. Build me a bigger and grander village. I need the money. I mean, what? I mean, I need you to all be happy and merry together. It's nice to walk around in the night time as well, though, with the lighting, even though it's only cosmetic uh, day-night. I like it. I do enjoy it. And they did the sky better than Ark. So, you know. You've actually got twinkles. It's not just a fixed image or whatever. Beautiful. Nice. Look at this lovely lot. Not a single of the houses has been built yet. It's been minutes. Minutes, I tell you. These layabouts.
I wonder, you know how we can remove individual plots in between? Thank you for the follow claim order. I wonder if we can, um... I suppose we could also have a different feel, right? If we, uh, thank you for the thank follow you, claim Thank you, Tigerston, more. for the tier one gift sub to Penny of Mommy. What, to what? Who now? S say, come again? Pinny up a mow mow. Bow chicka wow wow. So, uh, where is... Oh, there's no water there. That's unfortunate. I would have put a well in the middle. So, I wonder, then, if we go one, two... I really like that, that one there, though. I don't want to change that. I'm going to... I'm going to take that one away. Yeah. So I've got that one, that one, that one. And then in here, I'm going to sneak... We're going to sneak Summer in. To change, like, the look and feel. Um, it might just have to be one of those shrines or something. I don't think there's much else we could fit in there. I mean, a weaver's shop would be neat. Even if we won't use it right now. Uh, also, uh, thank you, Tiger, for the gifted sub. Claymore, uh, welcome aboard. Thank you for joining the Good Vibes crew. Hopefully you'll have a lot of fun here with us. Um... I guess we could mix in a weaver's shop. I'm a bit worried about the die shop because I don't want dies. I don't know if dies will count as like some sort of luxury and pleasing them for their clothes and stuff. Uh, but I'm a little bit worried. Oh, it needs. Look at that. It would need a double plot. It's too too thick. Hmm. Hmm. I wonder then if uh... look at that. That's neat. Oh, look at that drawing that in there. Yeah, I love that. That's cool. So if I, I'm going to demolish that one and then I'm going to put the weaver in there. There you go. Just to break it up a Thank little bit. Thank you, Tigerston, for the tier one gift sub to Manor Manfred. To what? <laughs> to to, to Manor War, apparently. Hey, Jacka, how you doing, buddy? Over on the YouTubes. Apparently, gifting we're gifting subs to... Uh, to uh, peculiar rock bands now, as well. That's neat. That's going to break it up. Because... Obviously, what you see in a lot of the plays is you see, like, just these rows of houses and stuff, right? Like, because people, you create this big plot and you say, oh, I'll build three or four, whatever. And I want to make it, I want to break it up a little bit so it's not quite so samey. So we can see what, if we can get some slightly unusual looking plots. Like that one that we've drawn up manually. And then shove some other businesses or whatever in between. I feel like that'll be a nice way to break it up. Thank you, Piperpa Forty, to, for the tier one gift sub to Jeffrey underscore Jefferson underscore Junior. <laughs> How he managed not to mangle man. I know he's so shouty pirate man is so good. He just he he keeps you guessing. 
it keeps you guessing hey ct how you doing buddy good vibes uh piper thank you uh piper per piper per 42 as the man says uh thank you for gifting a 2 one sub to jeffrey jefferson jr that's a bit of foreshadowing or foretelling of our uh our heir Jeffrey Jefferson Jr. You know, I can't, I don't, I can't remember if it was Mario who said it yesterday. But someone was like, I can't wait for some of these people to turn up in the chat and say, what's going on? Hello. I was just gifted a sub. Imagine if Jeffrey Jefferson Jr. turned up and we had to explain that they're kind of the namesake of our Lord. Hype train has entered the station and is at level one. Thank you. Thank you, Diorek, for the tier one gift sub to damn it, Jeff. Damn it, Jeff. That's pretty good. Damn it, Jeff. Now, imagine the explaining we have to do when damn it, Jeff turns up. Imagine if Jeff, Jeffrey Jefferson Jr. and Damn It Jeff both turn up in the chat. That would be like an hour's worth of explaining what's going on here and why. Ninety-four percent approval rating. Whoa. The hype train is going strong at level two. Thank you, Tigerston, for the tier one gift sub to No More Uh. It's like he got bored of reading that halfway through. No more. No more silly. Ah, can't be bothered. He just went, no more silly. Ah, can't be bothered. No more silly ah, whatever. <laughs> you poor, the poor Ben. Who's working here? Nick Bromancer. Wait, what is the exclamation mark? Oh, they're sick. Oh no. Oh no, Nick Bromancer is sick. Thank you, Diorek, for the tier one gift sub to Selena Mego Sheer. What? Selena, Celine Dion? Yeah, he did. He was like, <laughs> I'm out. I'm sorry, Selena who? Silly name goes here. He's like, I'm out. I'm gonna. I'd rather go and shear some sheep. Okay, we have seven coins. Remembering that we need. Uh, actually, what I can't remember what a vegetable patch is. Well, we don't. We're okay for food, but. Vegetable patch is the cheap one now. Yeah. Fifteen. Oh, we could have a blacksmith's shop for tools, spears, and sidearms. <gasps> oh, they also wanted shoes, didn't they? Armor's workshop. Joiner's workshop is for... Uh... So we could actually pay. We could actually get a blacksmith. We have a Fletcher. That's that's actually not a bad idea. We've got well, I mean, we've got so the smithy can only he the, the smithy here only produces the iron slabs, iron slabs. I don't know why I said it like that. Iron, iron, will be iron slabs. Uh, what just happened? Construction finished of another storehouse. Nice. So this storehouse. I kind of want to have it for just uh, construction goods and maybe like that. 
Thank you, Diorek, for the tier one gift sub to Super Califragtalistic. <laughs> Super Califragtalistic. I mean, that's pretty good. That was a good reading. Hey, hi, Jack. How you doing? The tier eight Namago. <laughs> okay, this is no. The hype train is going strong no. at level three. No. Mr. Copper, yeah, I like Thank that. Thank you, Tigerston, for the tier one gift sub to Lanferpol Gleekly. I mean, that is at least equal to how I would have pronounced it. That's probably better than I would have pronounced it. Lanfair Pregligli. He did give up halfway through. He was like, nah, I'm out. I, I, I appreciate though. I respect that that's his attitude. He's like, you know, I'm a pirate. You're going to push me too far. If you push me too far, I ain't doing it. And I like that he's consistent with that. He's like, whatever, I'm out. You can deal with the rest of that name yourself. Hey, chum, how you doing, bud? It is, it is. When you actually have, when there's like a real storm, like it's just eased off. But when there's a proper storm, the rain does actually come in fully, almost horizontal. Almost. It's kind of cool. You're predicting the end of the world if Lanfair Plululu just randomly turns up in the chat, yeah. Possibly a Welsh pirate, but a pirate nonetheless. <laughs> Arr. Yeah, this is uh, Manor Lords. It's releasing on the 26th of April uh, into early access. And we played the demo last year. Um, and it was already uh, really immersive and beautiful and love the attention to detail on that. And instead of being, because it was huge, like, let's have this now. I really respect them because the developer and the publisher were like, no, we're not going to rush this. It's going to be a quality you, product. Thank you, for the tier one gift sub to Chat Gobber. Ch Chat Gobber? Please don't gobble over chat. Why? Why are we? Why are we spitting at chat now? Stop it. Chat gobber. Uh, yeah, it's been wish listed like a couple of million times on Steam, so. And uh, there's lots of people. Oh, the first snows. Actually, I think these are the second snows. But here we go. We're in December. And the first proper winter snows are coming. Oh, no. Thank you, Tigerston, for the tier one gift sub to a 10 <laughs> gobber. Hey, Rogers. How you doing? What? Ten gobbers? Oh, really? Why? Well, I, I, I detest spitting. I think spitting is a... At least at people. I think it's, it's just one of the most disgusting things you can do. And... Uh, Thank you, Diorak, and now we've got spitting all over chat. Sub to what? To, to what now? Brick, brick shit house is what I heard. Thanks for gifting a tier one sub to brick shit house. Uh, I'm really enjoying this. Where it's a um, an early preview uh, version, early access zero seven zero zero two. We are not permitted to review it. 
and discuss its merits in some sort of analytical way. Uh, but uh, we're allowed to play it and have fun with it, or not. And I, for one, am having a lot of fun. I love slow burn stuff. And I'm just running it on normal speed. And we're mostly just gawking at the camera a lot. So I'm loosely Holy playing it. A hype train just Welcome in, Talon Warhawk. Welcome. Hey, Nightwish. And had to Morning. Crazy people participate. Thank you for the hype train. Level 3, 76%. So nearly 69%. But you went slightly over. Over-egged it. Oh, really? Thank you, Tigerston, for the tier one gift sub to do check your iOS T. Yeah, if you've got an iOS T, do check it. Do do remember to check your iOS T. Do check your iOS T though. Uh, since I borrowed your... Oh no, Talon, was that your... Is that your... Uh, Yamatai place? I genuinely... Every time, I swear, that's like the second or third time I've done that. That I just think... I see the horn and I think... I see a horn, I've got to blow it. Uh, in Conan. And... Uh, that I forget that there's a, a, a jade treasure piece. So I, 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 I grabbed it. It grabs it automatically. <laughs> but it wrapped it up in a treasure bag and I put the treasure bag back down on your porch. So I was hoping it's still there. I don't know if it despawns in that state or what it... I, I don't know how the game behaves. But I had no way of knowing whose house it was either. So I was like, I couldn't even send a note. I told... Uh, Shaman that what happens. I could have written in the Discord like to whoever's Yamaha Yamatai house. I should have done that really, but I don't know, it was late, I didn't think of it. Or it could be early. I don't know, it doesn't really make any difference where my brain works. Okay, uh everybody remember to check your IOSTs. Stance is checked and it's fine. Okay, good. You got a clip sent to you of it? <laughs> oh, nice. <laughs> At least you can see my genuine and instant remorse. I was like, oh no, it's that stupid. I forget again, it's that horn. Because the thing is, I only see it like once a season or something. Oh, I see how it is. I see how it is. <laughs> Grumbles see shiny, Grumbles picks up shiny. I mean, I do like shiny. Alright, uh, we have 78 days until attack, gang. I hope you guys are ready to fight. Wow, even just this little bit of building here has just totally changed the feel of the village. I feel just by putting that in... I feel like we've suddenly like filled out and it's like we've gone from teenager to adult to young adult in our in a village sense. That's what she said. <laughs> uh I think we're going we don't have any people yet but we're going to soon. When we bring, when some more people come in. Or did we have one house? No. Oh no, Lady L again is sick. Lady L, you're sick. You have fallen, fallen ill. Resource stolen by bandits. They for, stole four of our tools. Whoa, that's rude. These ones need a, a, a good lesson. And they're going to get it after we survive these raiders. 
That's really rude. Um, okay, we need to get these houses built. One's done. Yeah, I'm, 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 I hope this is going to look good. I, I like having this weaver shop in between. Like little, it's like going to one of these little old villages where things just built and changed out of necessity and opportunity over time. With, there was no planning as such. And it's nice. It's like going to those little villages in real life and seeing like, why is that there? Like, why is there this big barn in the middle of the village, in the middle of the town? Don't rename your oxen. It's caused some serious issues for me. I tried to rename my oxen three times yesterday. Uh, and it kept reverting back to what it was. Was it your original oxen? Original ox? Uh, do you, would you like to know stats why I tried to, if you don't already know? Uh, why I tried to rename my oxen? Uh, I'll show you. Because that's the name, that's the RNG name that was given to my ox. So, <laughs> people are getting demonetized on YouTube for that. Holy cow! That's holy cow. Yeah, that's uh, that's really unfortunate. Hopefully, they'll change that. Take that one out of the list. Even they probably won't because it'll be like, well, it's historically accurate. People shouldn't be so such babies about words. Wait, why? No, I liked having that tree there. Espo. Why? Oh, that I wanted to save that tree. That tree's been there right since the beginning. Next to those houses. We walked past that tree as his lordship. Oh, I'm sad now. Bad Espo. Hey, we have new people now. We have Kunrad. Uh, okay. So I don't think specimen's in here yet. I think we should have specimen. Uh, in order to make good on our thievery, we'll have Talon, Warhawk... Jacker, why did you ask if we had a, uh, a woman to be named? Did you have a suggestion? Off with his head. Did I die? No, you didn't die yet. We nearly went to war yesterday against an overwhelming enemy force, but we narrowly avoided it. Nobody has died... Although one of the people I named, I think, uh, mysteriously disappeared. So, yeah, maybe. Right, I'm putting in stomp. Stomp, you're in. Just for even suggesting that we go anywhere near yesterday's tragic name calling from the ang angry pirate man hey dr waggy good morning hey morley welcome in uh yeah hopefully at some point unless i've missed it somewhere uh there'll be an opportunity where you can see a full list of all the names because so far all i can tell is you just have to go through each each house it's possible that somebody died of um you know, from illness or whatever. Necbro and Trum are still there. I love that people moved in already, like, immediately. Canberra, Old Grumpy, Jurak, Jack D, Siren, Dutch Eagle. Still going strong. 
Doc Burn Camp, Mari, Stats Pyrol. One gift sub to an Anaspizzers. Really? I don't. I can't even tell you what I thought that that he said because they would that talk of getting demonetized. Uh, but yes, this is this is the house we've all been keeping an eye on. Maybe that's why Espol took that tree down because it's right it's right in front of the house where Doc Burnkamp and Stats Pyro live. So will Anna share her pizzas? Carefully expressing myself there. Okay. So we need a... I'm going to make a blacksmith. Actually, we're just missing five planks. Wow. How can we be missing five planks? What? I like how there's nothing stored inside. So we've gone from it complaining all the time. We've used up all the planks. Oh, I guess we... Well, no, we're only building tier one houses. Which I don't think is using planks. It's just timber. You can't be using planks. You wouldn't be able to build them at the beginning of the game, yeah. Huh. Don't know. Thank you for the five long months of subscribing, Morley. Thanks for the chill stream. Thank you, Morley. Appreciate it. Thank you for the kind words as well. Uh, really appreciate the prime on the line, the five months and the two months of streaking. Thank you, Morley. Uh, we did recently hit a follower goal of 10,069. Nice. We now have a new goal. 11,069. Nice. Uh, are we getting the clay pit stuff done now? Yes. <laughs> Okay, so we've gone from the generic storage. Oh, of course, this hasn't got anyone working in it yet. So, okay, let's build up. Oh, if I get once we get to three, we can add another one uh, working that new storehouse. I forgot about that. Or I could take someone. Well, no, if I take someone away, they're working their stalls. They'll be upset. The market's, uh, it's all right, though. Doing all right. Could do with a bit more, but I'm glad we went big on the market right from the beginning. I was thinking we might get a second market going at some point. I also need to think, I think next season we're going to get into a bit of farm work. Again, we're going to, I'm waiting at the moment. I'm in a holding pattern, sort of. Just trying to buff up my, my people and my militia. Uh, just while we... Uh, while we wait for this attack. Because I, I have no idea. We have not yet performed a battle. We've taken our troops out for a little march. But we have not performed a battle yet. Yeah, I agree, Nightwish. It's funny, I was looking this morning briefly at some screenshots from a year ago in the, when we did the demo you know, and it was already looking stunning and you can see a little bit of like the polish and that but it yeah amazing and again just the attention to detail I love all these RNG like different styled houses look at all these different different buildings right all the little details to them and the different... I like that it's also the gardens and everything are different. It's just, it's just beautiful. I like this big plot that we've done here as well. Oh, sugar. I didn't mean to do that. Okay. 
Never mind. We're adding some extra people to that one. Misclick. Too easy. Uh, we do have the weaver shop now, but no wool yet. So that's ready to go for next season. Uh, yeah, we want to try and get into some, maybe some flax production. 61 days until battle. I agree, especially Nightwish, I would say, on the waiting. You know, to... on Or taking time to get the game where you want it to be. I get the feeling, you know, this dev's very much one for quality and, like, perfection or whatever. Um... So, it must be really, really difficult to be like, okay, you know, done is better than perfect kind of thing. I have to remind myself that all the time. But, you know, because the, the world can be can be so harsh so quickly. You'd be like, oh, this is missing. It doesn't have this feature or, you know. must be so hard to put up with that and just keep your head down and go, right. There's a thousand, and even just the positive, like, add this and this and this. The skulk creep potential. So I really respect them for taking their extra time. And, uh, you know, getting it where they want it. Because imagine the added pressure of having like two million wish lists. It's just, a, it is a gorgeous and immersive game. It must be very, very hard not to, uh, to give in to that and be like, you know, or we could just cash in now. Yeah. Uh, the militia is, uh, we've got 50, 50, 16, uh, spearmen. Um, looks like they're with spears and with shields. Actually, where's the, there's a military breakdown thing somewhere. So we have 40 war bows. So building that Fletcher has really paid off. Um, uh, yeah. So for the war, the archers, it looks like we just need more. We just need more people. We need more warm bodies. Let's throw warm bodies at it and hope they don't become cold bodies. can't believe I misclicked that. I mean, it's not a bad thing. It'll add more capacity to that house, but it doesn't take away the garden of the extension thing, I don't think. It's my favorite plot so far. We just got that weird dog leg. And so next season, we got to, well, if we can, well, let, let, I don't want to make too many plans because we've got to get through this raid first. But once we get through the raid tentatively, uh, we get our Burgage level twos up and we need stone so that we can start building the manor. So we will, we'll put down a mine over here on our rich stone deposit. And I think we're going to start spending our points in the direction of unlimited stone. Because I'm assuming then we can sell it. Excellent. More families moving in. Yes. Not there though. Heinz. What a mistake at a maker. Heinz, get yourself into the spear gear. He has already. Look, 17. Nice. One spear, one shield. Good work. We've got two archers in that building. Two in that building as well. One spearman and shield, one archer in that building. It's kind of cool to see all the breakdowns. Still got 83% rating. And I've got another archer just joined. 17 and 17 now. Yeah. 
heroin i agree or i like i see that as well so again fingers uh, uh, that's why i'm so pleased that they've aligned you know the manor lords slavic magic and the key developer there and remember this is like predominantly a so a one person you know project as well right at the beginning um and uh, lined up with hooded horse and hooded horse just they just have such a good attitude they're like well we're not going to rush it i mean again they must be under a lot of pressure you know and presumably putting resources in as well but they you know it's a good 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 combo yeah nightwish exactly how i feel like I, i've probably a broken record on it but i could just especially when you set a few things up to build right which we haven't really got that here but i was thinking i could do like a time lapse and just set a whole load of stuff up and then just record it just 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 record it from like find a good angle between the trees and just watch that build I might do that and like put a YouTube up that's just like here's three hours of the game <laughs> playing itself. I think that would be very relaxing. Here's your screensaver. Mana Lords, you know, an homage to screensavers or something. <laughs> Medieval screensaver. Here we go, January. Maybe things starting to thaw just a little already. A bit earlier this year than last year. 10 hours of Man Lord's Ambience. Yeah, right? Because you've got this amazing soundtrack where the guy went and worked with an orchestra to make it happen uh, in a sound studio. And just the beauty of this game unfolding in front of you. I think it'd be pretty chill. Hey, Joint, how you doing, buddy? Welcome on in. Hello, Eric, over on the YouTube. Welcome. Do the weather changes affect the game? Uh, yeah, the seasonal changes do. Um, I'm not sure about the weather. So like if it's raining and so, uh, so the weather, the, if you have things that are stored outside, uh, not in a storehouse and stuff. So mainly relevant early game, or if you're overproducing and, and don't have enough storage facility or personnel working it, um, then they, things will rot and they're left outside. So that's an element where, where there is impact. Um, and other than that, uh, the season changing and the, well, the weather changing affects like berries, presumably wildlife. Um, so we have 10 out of 20 animals now. So I took the hunting down from two people working it to one. Uh, to make sure that we weren't over hunting the wildlife area. And that seems to have recovered from, yeah, from five, it's gone back up to 10. So there you go. Those are the kind of things that are going on in the game. Right now, the berries obviously are uh, shrinking away because it's winter. Or so it's described. <laughs> what is Dubs up to? Good question. That's the thing is, it's hard to find an individual worker. There's Nightwish. You're currently a warehouse worker and you're transporting stuff around. Good job. Good job. What's Jurak doing? Transporting. Jurak's going around swinging, it, swinging a hammer. I do really enjoy that you can follow the people around like this as well. Like, this was something I enjoyed in the demo. 
So as long as you don't move the keyboard keys, you can just follow people around the town. And just, you know, you could have that as part of a time lapse as well. Let's just follow this person for a whole year of the game. And then follow another villager for the next year and stuff. That could be quite a fun time lapse. Hey, Lucky Strike. No joint in the game? I can't remember. If, I think we put you in joint. I think you're in. Uh, don't ask me where you're at. There's no one working the tannery, is there? Oh, no, there is. Amber does that. Oh, there's Dub. Dub's transporting. That actually looks like Dub if he had to make his own his character in the game, right? That looks like Dub to me. Lampshade on his head. Mustard, mustard jacket. I, thought I would say that's Dob. That's pretty good. Yeah, I really like that you can just follow the people around like that. It's, that's uh, just another nice touch. Uh, where's? Let's see if we can find joints. I think I was already looking here, wasn't I? Uh, where? Where's Dob? There's, oh, so our OG, our mods are in the original house. There's Join. Hey, Join. Found you. You're working the market stall. Firewood. You're selling firewood, Join. There you go, buddy. Well, selling some firewood. Very important job in winter. It can't be Dubs because he's actually working hard. Wow! Mark throwing Dubs under the under the bus, under the medieval cart. Berries so plump and juicy, you want to eat them by the bushel. Forty-four days until the attack. Forty-four days. As the army still only at half strength. Thrown under the ox. Forty-four days. Forty-three days. Ah. Oh, here we go. We get another one of these beautiful uh, moments with the low winter sun. Lovely. So good. And the ambient sounds. As the sun goes down. What was it? The, what was that thing we read the other day in, in Conan? The voice acting? As the horizon devours the sun. Was it something like that? I really like that. Witness as the horizon once again devours the sun. It was something like that. I really liked that line though. It was one of the, the Jabal Sack people. I don't think so. You mean like this? Oh, 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 uh, 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 um, uh, we wanted to make a blacksmith. We wanted to make a blacksmith. Upgrade to level two. Boom. Go. Upgrading. Go, 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 go. Gadget. We might be able to get that done just in time. Don't know. But maybe. I'm going to put the blacksmith there because then it's not far from all this stuff. And the construction materials storehouse. Yeah. 
I would imagine that will be a, 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 a much requested feature. Hey, good stuff. Good vibes. Nightwish, good vibes. Hey, Blackadder, good morning. I mean, I would imagine at some point they might even go down the route, depending how difficult and, 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 and consistent that is. Um, but they might go down the route of having a, um, a Hujima flip, a Twitch integration thing. I would imagine they might do that. So you can just have people randomly have chatters turn up in the game. Let's have a walk through from the edge of the village. Cinema style. Tremendous work. Continue. And if possible, up your pace. chat raid that would be kind of hilarious if all the enemy the enemies that came in would just randomly pick people from chat as well <laughs> that would be pretty you know what would be funny imagine if a twitch raid triggered a raid in the game and the bigger the no that would end up getting misused wouldn't it it'd be funny like if you had <laughs> like you know like you have a gassy or or burke just rocks up and is like Hey, have fun, gotta run, see you later, bye. And, they, and then you get a horde raid into your village and you get completely trashed. And you're like, damn it, Burke. D damn it, Burke. Yeah. And just imagine the troops coming in and it's all the names of all the people you recognize in the community. And you just hear this, like, the, you know, like in, in the movies and stuff, like the, the huge trudging sound of all the army with their with their uh metal armor and weaponry and stuff you just get like something out of lord of the rings you know like a trudge 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 oh and then you see burke black's like banner or something oh, oh that would be hilarious yeah but it would be, t I mean, I wouldn't want to see that. Or that would have to be like optional or something. I mean, it'd be funny if you could save your game before <laughs> choosing to accept the raid, you know, choosing to uh, have the raid come into the game or not. It would be pretty damn hilarious. <laughs> Looks like, what do you want from me? This is the only PvP I can get in this game. missing the part where something goes oh this is true yeah burke's army burke's it it'd be funny if they start infighting amongst themselves or a squabble breaks out amongst the army and nothing comes of it they run out of food they forgot their weapons You know what's funny? They could probably do it like that, actually. You could have it where it's deliberately set so that that horde appears and you kind of go through some animations and it's a lovely distraction, but they deliberately come in as, like, not very strong. So it can't actually trash your game. And, yeah, maybe they lose morale after, like, 10 minutes or something and just go... I could imagine a fun, creative way that, that that could work. It would have to have some some safety nets built into it, though, because otherwise you'd just ruin people's experiences, and that wouldn't be fun. 
And in fact, then you wouldn't, you probably wouldn't raid. Most people would be like, well, I'm not raiding then because I don't want to spoil someone else's game. Fun idea, though. Massive bot bonding food and housing. Oh my god. Yeah, imagine if you were prepared for it and you tweaked the settings so it was like, I'll accept 10% of raiders to my village. But then some, <laughs> some folks like that turn up and you're like, no, no, that's, st <laughs> that's still, no, no. You're all going to starve, I'm afraid. Which one? Is this the Weaver's place? I think that might be the Weaver's place, isn't it? Is are we? Where are we exactly? We're in between the new houses we just built, right? So the Weaver's place actually has the front and rear entrances like that. And they actually connect up within the village. Wow. A raid of killer rabbits. Oh, God. No, that would be, that's more cringe style, I think. <laughs> this tree, Espo, Espo, what's going on? You took this tree down, the one tree I wanted to keep, and you've just left it felled in the middle of the path. What's going on here? I'm really pleased with how that weaver's hut has fitted so na naturally. Oh, I can actually walk along this tree. So it's actually, it is actually counting as there. What? Espo? That's like exactly the opposite of what you should have done. Not only should you have just left the tree be, but also if you're going to chop the tree down, you've got to, you've got to at least deal with it. That's pretty hilarious. All right, how much time's gone by now? Yeah, look, that is that weaver's hut there. I can't believe how all that turned out so well. Neat. I like that, so it's broken up. For me, it's broken up the monotony. It doesn't just look like the usual rows of houses. i got to remember that trick. Do a few more of those. Here's a Burgage plot level 2 going up. That one we can turn into the blacksmiths. Why is the Brahm always gone? Well, let's bring you back over here so you can see all the, all the numbers. Uh, yeah, so one of the level twos we turned into the flat. Is that the only... No, we had another level two. Hang on. Didn't we have a second one? Yeah, here. Burgage plot level two. Why are we not getting any planks? Don't be shy, good sirs and ladies. Oh, reserve. Oh, you can make a construction reserve. So let's have a construction reserve of five. Because that's what we would need to make the blacksmith. That's cool. Oh no. Oh no. Who are these? Brigands for hire. Is he sending mercenaries in with spiked clubs to weaken us up? Or is he bringing them? Oh no. 25 days, gang. 
We also could use our coin right now to hire mercenaries, right? But I don't think we have enough. Wasn't 15 was the cheapest? Oh, sugar. They've already hired the cheap ones. Oh, no. Who approved this construction plan? A blind man or a fool? Wait. That's a blind fool. Who approved these construction plans? A blind man or a fool? Perhaps a blind fool. How dare you? Talking about Jeff's planning like that. Oh, hell, the flock of crazy geese. Okay, so we have more families. We can have another person working the saw pit. Uh, and another person working logging, I think. Uh, ma, 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 ma. Logging camp, logging camp. Although we have logage. Refined for logage. I think we just need the two people working in the saw pit. This is really cool. I didn't see this before. Um, but the construction reserve. That's a really, really neat idea. Oh, and we can assign livestock here as well to make the the work more efficient. Neat. I guess also because the timber needs to be shifted around and we only have the one ox who shall not be named. Um, that's also slowing us down because um, the, the ox is, is, is too busy dragging stuff around building all these extra houses. Which needed to be built anyway. So we now have this house that has a... A little bungalow so we can get more people into this house. Stump is fetching water. That's what you're doing. Okay, we have some more names here. Who have we not had yet? We can have Eric from the YouTube. We can get Jacka in. Mark, okay. Mark, you're in. You're praying right now, unsurprisingly. Same as when you're in a division with me and Grumpy, I suppose. Please don't let them YOLO. Please don't let them YOLO. You were dead set on having you on latrine duties. Yeah, that, that exactly. Maybe that's what you're doing. Maybe that's what you're, you're, where your bucket of water is going. Twenty-one days. I'm getting a little bit nervous. I'm getting a little bit nervous about this battle. How's my army looking? Nineteen of each now. I feel like it's going to be better to have two sets of units rather than. One for one, but I could be wrong. We all, know what that means. we all know what that means. What? Send me to battle, my lord. Soon, TM. 20 days. You have but 20 days to wait. Uh, let's see if I can... Do this. So that you can see it. There you go. Huzzah! You can see it now. Just there. Uh, I I don't know what they're going to bring. It just said that there's raiders are coming to attack us. We have little to no information other than whispers on the wind. That something foul is afoot. Strange things are afoot at the Circle K. Berries, berries. Bonus cookies in chat if you get that reference.
My plan to get the blacksmith up and running hasn't worked out though. Mainly because of the lack of planks. Which is sad. I acted on the lack of plankage far too late. And I think we should invest in a second ox. Because we're going to be doing a lot more constructing. We're going to be doing a lot more logging and whatnot. Yeah, I'm I'm a little bit sad that we didn't act on, on that to get more weaponry made in time for the fighty fight. But that's okay. We live and learn or we die and burn. I don't know. <laughs> Probably... No, no, that would have given us more spears. I think that would be handy. Yeah, we would have been able to make helmets as well, maybe. Would have been a good idea. It's fine. You guys are going to do just fine. You'll be fine. No one's going to die. My frontline weavers will hold them off. <laughs> we, we get grams up front and crochet... A, a wall. I've iced the roads, my lord. They shall slip and bruise their rumps soundly. Hey, Mike. How you doing, bud? I blame the woodcutters. Yeah. Look at this incredibly light... Look at this incredibly light armor we have crafted, my lord. At the weaver's hut. The poor weaver. Leave the weaver. It's not, we don't even have a weaver yet. We're already picking on the weaver. We don't even have one. Make nets in the trees. Yeah, get them tangled up. That's right. There you go. Think outside the box. Crochet some traps. They, hey, you know what, though? Our fighting force would be a tightly knit unit. <laughs> yes. And the enemy could get knotted. Oh, we're on it. We're on it. It started. It started. We're into the parent joke segment of the stream, which is essentially all of the stream all of the time. Yeah. Did you see how I strung those jokes together? I had to Google that. It was an excellent reference. <laughs> hey, Viper. Good morning. Knitting needles the size of a pike. Yeah. Tie them up with your tactics. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. The enemy have been tied down in the field. <laughs> I'm getting really nervous. We got 13 days for the raiders. Yikes. We've got a 90% approval rating, though. Public order. Lack of administrative buildings. Oh, they're getting... I've lost 10% public order because we haven't started building the manor yet. Oh, no. But good news is we have enough people that we could start building a, uh, a mine now. Jeez, that's going to be a long walk. We're going to put a house down here for the stone cutter. Probably try and connect them to where the other route used to be as well. Like so. 
I don't know if I want to build a house that far away though. Because then they we could do like a small... They need a bit of everything then. Will they get water all the way over there and so on and so forth? Don't know. Could be a second part of the village, but that's going to split the party and that would make it hard for defense and that. I don't think that's a good idea. Unless we could do some farm fields down there as well. And we could put farmhouses and, and yeah, we could, we could have a bit of a stretch though. Don't know. Resources stolen by nearby bandits. No, they stole 10 more tools. Did, is that all my tools gone? No, we have 58 tools. Holy cow. Smithy's doing overtime. You thieves. I tell you what, once this is resolved, we're going to go and bash them. I think. If we've got good numbers still. We have 59 people. Only 10 more people to go. And that's another end boss of the game defeated. I've done worse commutes, yeah. At least it's not on the underground. Five planks are available now. Three planks. Maybe they might have used them in the meantime. Well, we've got this reserve on now. So they should be reserving. <coughs> Psycho psychological warfare. Of course, that ties the ox up as well, taking the building the stone cutters thing. Another firewood stall's gone in. Neat. We're so close. So close. Not going to make it in time for the war, though. I wish I... I really wish I had noticed that earlier. But anyway. Those are just, again, from when I was... No, no, those are the autosaves, actually. They're not from the other day. I just did a 69 minutes quick quick check. Everything was working. Mostly played around with the cinematic camera. Yeah, we can get more oxen at the trading post. Uh, yep, for sure. Uh, we probably can't afford it yet. Uh, oxen cost 20 coin. We've got 14. Um, but we've just added another level 2 burgage, so we'll get one or two more upgraded. I want to keep a mixture of level 1 and level 2. Um, yeah, and the sheep trade is... That's waiting. We should maybe consider putting up a normal trading post as well and start exporting. Uh, now that we have enough people, we can probably go into exporting uh, bits and bobs. Is it me or did the game go a bit laggy? For a, for a wee moment. I... Is, is this... Is that the force they're bringing... exactly are these guys up to oh they're fighting they're fighting the brigands interesting that's good that's not us then j-o-i-n-t-d-k lost their mind and just cheered lost their mind some bits for you grumbles they dwarf Thanks for these many and funny streams you have done over the years. Thank you, Joint. Much appreciated, buddy. So, they're actually taking out this bandit camp that was causing us trouble. That's not bad. I quite like that the AI, you know, doesn't like bandits either, so... We'll try to do something about it. Five days till the attack, gang. Five days... 
Looks like it's going to happen before coffee break. <laughs> so we're going to be going into coffee break. Are we going to be licking our wounds and starting again? Or... <laughs> I haven't got the manor building yet because I don't have the stone. Uh, but we have just started out building the stonecutters camp. So we'll be getting onto the manor. We've got the manor, we've got the sheep, additional oxen and the farming are kind of the four main quest items or the four side quests that we're juggling either depending how you look at it. Three days, prepare for the attack. Yeah, I, I changed that really early on because I remembered from the demo that it had the church bell you could change. Coffee break first try. Yep. I've got bell number three, I think. Oh, it changed it back for me. That's the one. It's supposed to be bell number three, but it had changed it since yesterday. Hmm. Again, uh, this is a preview version, so a couple of those things might be... Uh, well met. Might be in polishing. Hey, Grooved. How you doing? Build a wall and make the brigands pay for it. Soon, soon TM. Soon TM. Ninety four percent approval rating. Let's flipping go. And look, here comes the thawing after winter. We have survived our second winter. Uh, seven months of food left. So considering how many more people we brought in, we're up to 60 villagers now as well. We've got three of the five required level two families. So we're really getting there. We're really uh, cracking on. Considering I'm doing it at the slow pace. A band of raiders. Enemy units spotted. Hang on. Let's pause this for a second. They're coming at us. Oh, they're coming across these. The frozen wastes over there. Okay, time to rally up, everybody. We've got 20 archers. Oh, here we go. Here we go. So they have to run home and get all their weapons. I hope we've got arrows for our bows. I mean, if we don't. So these are unit one. These are unit two. Shoot at will. Friendly fire mode. Disband. Hold. What is their, uh, is, what is their range? Wait, unit one. Line up. Unit 2. Oh no! Here we go, fire! Get him! Move up! Oh, 
No, don't let them go at the archers. Why would you do what? Ah. Uh -huh. Oh, they've got, they've engaged the wrong unit. They've engaged the wrong unit. <laughs> That's gone well. Get them. Get them, lads. Oh, what the heck? No, what? What's going on? I want to, I want to go to them, not away from them. Oh, these bullies, man. We've lost a couple of archers, not surprising. Oh, they're losing, they're losing ground. Archers are getting battered. Not good. Run, fall back. Use your, use your range. Go, attack. <laughs> that didn't work as well as I'd hoped. Push forward, murderize them. I need to get my guys to come and hit these ones in the back is what I want to do. Come on, let's, let's, let's gang up on these guys. Get them. Squash them. Archers, you have the, the time to withdraw. Yes. Yes, it worked. Jeez, we got lucky. We broke them. Oh, ho, 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 ho. after a really rocky start. After a really rocky start, we broke them. Get wrecked, nerds. I only have eight bowmen left. Oh, my goodness. Uh, just because of that one timing issue where I got the spear guys attacked the wrong enemy unit oh thank goodness i just chose to disengage that other unit and then rush at the other ones oh they're not coming to attack are they no oh, they might be i hope not okay everybody uh militia and retains return to their lives Mercenaries will leave your service. Cover more ground at the cost of fatigue. Okay. Cool. We survived. Some, some, some of you survived. We now have 49 villages left. 50. Oh no. So what we don't have is we don't know who died. No mercy. Yeah, look, these are just passing through. They're just running past, thankfully. Oh, that was that was a bit rougher than it could it needed to be, but we survived. Shinyville, Shinyville victorious. We need a corpse pit now. Yeah, you can't. It doesn't look like you can see who the bodies are. We just leave them out there to rot. But there's a bunch of our our bowmen there. 
Oh, the poor archers having to do all of that melee combat until we got our act together. I'm glad that my you guys were really good because you you rallied back to the archers and saved them. We struck in their uh, we struck to their rear, and that made a huge difference. I didn't think they would break their spirit that quickly, but once that first unit was gone. And we and we freed our archers up to fire on the second unit again. Uh there. They were like, nah, nah, mate, I'm out. Yes, victorious. But at what cost? The cost of, of ooh. Okay, Trammer and Dub are still good. We've got a new person called Herman. Uh, Slickson, Supplight, TC Freer, Hula, Twisted, Grams, uh, Specimen, Stump, and we've got a new Dorothea. Uh, Eric, Mark, are still alive. Uh, Mims, Lady L, Foster, Espo, Skullduggery, and then we've got a new person called Fritz. Uh, Sonny Neckbromancer. Oh, I think Chum died. Hans? Because Neckbromancer and Chum were living in the same house. I'm pretty sure that Chum has bit the dust. That house is a new one anyway. So those are new names to go in. Oh no, Canberra, Old Grumpy, Durax, Iron. And then there's two more missing here. Oh. Stats Pyro, Mari, and Doc Burnkamp uh, have all survived. Oh, hey, bearded underscore barman. Thanks Bonte, for hitting that follow Finn button. and Edgekill. Uh, bearded barman, thank you for the follow. Welcome aboard. Sleepy, it's Rob Nightwish, and Gamel have all survived. Uh, Lady L. Oh, Lady L, you are in here twice. Lady L and Lady L again. <laughs> uh, Zatalia, Hans. So we lost somebody here. I don't know. You guys have to remember where you lived. I can't remember where you lived. Uh, Disco, Reckless. <gasps> no. Did we lose? We lost Viper. Blutnum, Lanavar. We lost Viper and Reckless Rat. We lost Viper and Reckless Rat. No, we didn't lose Reckless Rat. Sorry, we lost Viper. No, oh, okay. There's a little bug there. We lost Viper. Okay. Shh, don't tell him. Actually, we'll have to go. He's here anyway, so. Viper 2. <laughs> Did we lose Join? Was it was this joint? Yeah, this is where we need some sort of automation of it. Doctor Waggy, Tiger's Den, and and Fritz. So somebody went down here. Viper Junior. <laughs> Yeah, I haven't renamed all of the all of the names yet. And um, first of all, I'm just trying to take stock of. Uh... I've got coffee. Everything else can wait. Of who was still alive. All right. Well, we've got plenty more renamings to do once we're back from coffee break. Well, you know, I'd call that a net win. Oh, there's no Twizamba sausage maker. Yeah, I think you lived in this house here. Yeah, I think you were here. Twizamba sausage. I remember now. You were living there. This is true. We have CT. I love that there's two mims and they both survived. Well, of course, the, the females weren't in the combat, so. 
medieval times. Medieval rules. This is a brand new house. That's a brand new house. All right. Let's get silver in here. Oh. No, that worked. Okay. Specimen, stomp, but Bart Holmes is a new one. And then these two are new people, newcomers anyway. Zombie Bombi is now in. All right, I'm going to go on coffee break. And you guys get to watch more business unfold. Do we now have enough to make the blacksmith? No. What? Have we got the reserve? Huh. I wonder if that's not working. The reserve thing then. Because for some reason we're running out of planks. Alright, I'll fix that when we come back. Enjoy! Check that doorway's width so that a cart can fit.
All right, let's settle back in. The Battle of Shiny Fields, yes. In the year two. Bodies need burial. Villagers required to be buried on hallowed ground of the church, while raiders may be dumped into a corpse pit. Make sure you have a family assigned to handle it. There we go. Sadly. Sadly. Hey, silver cats. Corpse pit, no construction costs. Sadness. But yeah, we don't want disease or whatever breaking out, so we'll get that dealt with. Exactly the first day, the, the Jeffage. The first Jeffage. Bring out your dead. Oh, we have a stonecutters camp now as well, so we can start work on the... Uh, I think I'm going to give the game a restart. Seems just uh, for a little while ago, we had a little bit of lag and it seems to have stuck. I'm going to assign two people to that right off the map. Clay pit is almost finished. Uh, because we should still... I think we might still have the some more people coming in oh no they're all we're all full now okay hey ratty how you doing bud we survived the raid the first war we survived the first war let me just save this and restart the game Bum, 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 bum. Good morning, Finn. Thank you, Joink, for the tier one gift sub to Gamo Farber. Thank you, Joint. That's very kind of you. Really appreciate it. I am very much enjoying Analog so far, yes. I think this is going to be one of those games you can pick it up and just relax and enjoy it. Whenever. Thank you, Joint. I agree, bit of bit of banished feel. I think the aesthetics. Yep. But I feel also that it's it's very much its own thing. Like I've not felt as immersed in other games.
I put Mark and you in the same house and that's trouble? Probably. Probably. Got to bring Chum back in. Finn made it through the war. We got newcomers. So we can have a bearded barman. This one's got to go again. Count Babula, we haven't had. There you go. Straight in at the front line. Uh, no cakes not in. We'll put cake in. Cake goes moo. Do you know what? I'm going to put Cobby in just because it'll wind Dob up. Oh, I know as well. Old man Falcon. There you go. Falcon, Cake, CT, Cobby. All the cadets are in. Good morning, sir, ma'am. Morning, Bonty. Welcome in. You just missed the first the raid that they did on us. It was close. And we have lost several villages, but we're recovering. We, uh, I made a, a slight tactical error. I know this is incredibly hard to believe. I made a slight tactical error early on, but I recovered. And uh, we, we rallied. We rallied and we fought through. And it went well. You are Nightwish. You made it. I didn't burk it. No. No. I didn't burk it. It wasn't game over. We didn't have to restart. <laughs> well, the idea... Okay, so the idea I had was to put my archers in front have them use their weapons at range and then withdraw all i well what i did in the end was i was going to have the archers withdraw but what i did instead which is part of my error is i had my spearmen push forward because the enemy were approaching fast that was the first battle we'd had right so i didn't realize how quickly they could rush down upon us and they got too close and then my second, I'm not really sure, I'm not really fair, sure if it's fair to say it was a mistake, but I suppose it was inaccurate at least, is I got my pike, my spearmen to, they had two units and I somehow, I, I clicked on the wrong, on the unit that wasn't the one threatening my archers. So they went off to engage like enemy unit two for the sake of conversation and not enemy unit one and enemy unit one was what I needed to then ended up getting into melee range with my archers which is not what I wanted um, but the archers did well you know we had them given a bit of ground and and then sort of mid battle I decided okay I'm gonna grab my my spearmen and I know it's very dangerous to turn your back on the enemy but I'm gonna rush the rear of their other unit and luckily we were able to do that by the archers some time the first unit fled two against one and then yeah the rest was all she wrote so it was an important learning exercise and considering it's a village militia i think we did we did quite well what we're doing with the dead bodies so we have uh, our church here we have a grave digger uh, for the the dead bodies here. There's three dead bodies by the looks of it. Uh, so far from ours. And then we have a corpse pit which is where we throw the uh, terrible brigands. I 
I still have another house load of people to rename somehow. Where did I miss that one? Ah, here we go. Herman Tubman. We don't really have brewing going yet. We have a tavern for people to congregate at, but we don't have the barley and whatnot going. So I'm, I'm trying, I'm hoping that we can get into the uh, food production uh, this in this this year. All right, we had Claymore join us today, so you're in. What else do we have going on today? I'm not putting in subs because then we'll have people like Pineapple Pizza and I don't want to wish ill on my villagers. Blackout is here. Very fitting, I guess, with the setting. I don't know where the others are, though. I saw them work in the, the pit. Fritz. Where do you live, then? This one? Oh, there. Okay. Oh, you live in the second apartment. Okay. Got it. It was quite a lot of deaths. We lost 10 or 11. Uh, we lost 10 or 11. There's LC. There we go. Oh, I don't think Piper's in here, is he? Piper Bar. Auto pay. Perfect. Perfect. Uh, yeah, I think we... Uh... No, I've lost my train of thought. Get those bed dead. Uh, get those bed derried. Get those bed derried now. Thanks, brain. Thirteen archers and three pikemen is what we lost. Wow. Okay. It's more than I thought. So, what's that? Around just under half our army. About half our army. Yeah. Top tip, guys. Don't have your archers engaged in melee unless you're absolutely desperately need to. Just, you know, for those less versed in medieval warfare than myself. <laughs> Don't be an archer in the army. I'll make you an archer. That's a good idea, Elsie. <clears throat> it's a great idea. Yes, get to burying those dead. Chop, chop. I shall inspect the battlefield myself. Having fought so bravely, Sir Robin. Having fought so bravely. I am a dwarf and I'm digging a hole. Diggy, diggy hole. Diggy, diggy hole. Diggy diggy corpse pit. Look, that's so sad. I wish we I wish it had the name labels of the ones that fell. Like or that you could do the magnifying glass and inspect the dead. Like then we could honor them fully. I think there was more over here, wasn't there? Oh yeah, he's picking up. Okay, so they've not all rendered in because he's carrying a dead body. There you go. Look at these brigands with their spike clubs. Bunch of bullies. Oh, and there's more of our fallen. Sad.
the first great battle of Shinyville. It's not okay to take our tools. It is not okay to take our tools. I, I do echo that sentiment. Am I getting put in the corpse pit? No, villagers are getting buried at the hallowed ground of the church. We'll go over to the church now. Uh, thank you very much for the sub over on uh, YouTube. Uh, Viral81, thank you very much. Much appreciated. Folks, if you're here and you're new or you just haven't got around to it yet, but you fancy supporting uh, both myself and our pledge uh, for completely free, you can go over to YouTube right now and click the subscribe button. Now you can even turn the notifications off if you prefer not to have too many pop-ups over there. I get it. But if you subscribe over there for completely free, you'll be encouraging me to bring more nonsense your way and put smiles on faces all over the world. Seems funny to say it like that, but it's true. You fought poorly. Enjoy the pit. <laughs> yeah, I think the walk around, you can see that it definitely slows things down. Uh, I think this needs some more optimization, but it was said, yeah, this maxes out my GPU. Uh, the pledge continues to run. Count Babula. Uh, six, still at 69%. One day we might make it to 100%. Thank you for the sub, uh, Tim over on the YouTube. I know that people often have different stuff set up with their whatever, so if you don't want to, you know, give away your, your, your names and whatnot, don't feel like you have to wave. I really appreciate the support. Have these been added in? Were these here yesterday when we walked through the churchyard? I don't remember seeing that. Have they added in the grave markers? Or were they there yesterday and I just didn't notice because I've got the worst observation skills. I got a nat one in observation. I don't think they were there yesterday, were they? I think that's not an accurate number per se. I think that's just a visual representation that people have been buried here. Yeah, okay. So that's that's a really nice little uh, bit of detail, right? That we get a... Uh, we get a visual representation that there has been uh, combat and loss within the village. I think that's really cool. Holy shit! What are you doing? Count Bobula just dropped 10 tier 1 subs and has gifted 59. Thank you so much. Oh, thank you so much, Count Babula, coming in with the 10 gifted subs. Can we get some uh, some good vibes from anywhere uh, going in the chat? Let's go. Thank you so much. Let's go. Show me your good vibes, your smiles, the emotes that make you happy. Thank you, Count Babula. That's so good of you. Really appreciate that support. Thank you. Very humbled by that. Um, as an example of our pledge, where 69% of all of the income I receive from content creation goes to charity and good causes, uh, we recently donated 2,069 euros. 2,069 euros uh, to Norwegian Cancer Research. Uh, 
or our society uh, via our friend Tiger's Den, who was running his charity week. So, you know, you don't just have to take my word for it. You can see uh, it being paid forward. Uh, we've also supported a number of other causes this year, Stack Up, uh, and we will be doing uh, events with F Cancer in May uh, for mental health awareness uh, in conjunction with, with F Cancer, um, because mental health is, uh, you know, so very important in any case, but especially so when you're dealing with, with cancer and all the trials and tribulations that that puts you through. I have no doubt of that. Um, yeah. So, watch this space. More goodness coming. Um, and we'll definitely do something again with Save the Children. And hopefully I can uh, do something where we, where we raise funds for Hope for the Day as well. Which is, uh, again, about mental health. Uh, education around mental health in particular. All right. We're at 77% thumbs up. We're only losing 10 because we don't have public order. Uh, we have stones coming into the village. Uh, construction materials. So uh, we should be able to get into some of that shenanigans do we finally have our blacksmith no so we need it's march we need to think about crops i'm really struggling to get this uh, these planks man oh uh, there was a question about the logging pit maybe i need to add another logger oh my construction reserve has gone back down to zero again Oh, that's weird. Maybe we had new workers come in or something. Hans? Hmm. <laughs> I'm gonna just pick randomly somebody that got a gift sub. Absent coffee makes me chuckle. Yeah, Nightwish, the only thing that really pushes the computer a little bit is um so I have like a medium spec 3070 standard um i7 but not the best. Thula was a carpenter. Yep. He was, or a woodcutter. Yep. Still doing work in and around there. Uh, the only thing that pushes my computer a little bit is, so far, um, is the f uh, third person walking around the village. Um, which is, you know, very stated as very work in progress. Yeah, I this I, I'm running everything on like ultra or whatever the best level is, but you wouldn't necessarily have to do that either. So I'm pretty sure this will run uh, smoothly. Like I can't guarantee it, but I would expect it to run uh, smoothly. Um, there's a whole bunch of. Uh, graphic settings, um, you know, anti-alias, whatever you've got. Isn't FSR, isn't that the AMD one? What is the FSR? Shouldn't I be on DLSS with an NVIDIA card? I don't know. Um, you can also limit the frame rate, which, you know, I run in any case VSync, so it's limited at 60 anyway. 
Yeah, I might need to have an additional oxen. FSR can be used with both. Okay, thank you. I didn't know that. It can be used with both. Okay, interesting. I'm going to switch it anyway because, you know, what did that just change? It changed a bunch of things. Oh, quality. Okay. I don't know, we'll give this a go. See if it makes a difference. You'll probably have to tell me. You guys got better eyesight than me, probably. Let me have a look at my system statistics, see if anything looks different. Hmm. Can't really tell. A bandit camp was sighted. With bandits. Eh, that's miles away. I'm not worried about that. <sighs> Famous last words. Stupid bandits. I don't know if I'm imagining it. But I feel like the house models maybe look a bit sharper now? Question mark? Like, the game's already gorgeous. But I, I don't know if I'm imagining it, but I feel like almost the... We did just change probably from balance to quality, right? I don't know. I don't know if I'm imagining it. Maybe it's just the rain and all that. Hard to tell. Hey, Dubbers, how you doing? Yeah. But the thing is, we haven't added that much. We've added, I suppose it's quite a big percentage. But we've added four houses with a weaver's workshop in the middle. And I feel just adding that into the middle gives it a, a very different feel to the village. As soon as we added that bit in there, it suddenly it made the village feel like it's popping it a bit. added sharpening wishes off by default. Yeah, I thought the other one had sharpening as well, but I could be wrong. So there's definitely something that shifted. But it was it was off in any case. I remember seeing that was off. Thanks, Viper. We added a few corpses to the church and to the pit. Shh. We don't need to worry about that. Had some fun RP last night enjoying Conan. Ah, oh, that's really nice to hear, Dob. I'm glad. Yeah, I haven't had any more time for it. I did a tiny, tiny bit on Friday. I logged on to just like do a little bit of the foundations of the tower and after about 15 minutes or something somebody just randomly walked past so I got into a an RP scene instead uh, which was like tons of fun and I'm pretty sure I confused the hell out of somebody Nineteen stored. Okay, so there's still dead bodies to be stored. Yeah, they're still working on it. Come on, I want to make this blacksmiths, man. I also want to do a veggie garden. Have I got another one? Well, that costs 15. Oh yeah, 15 and then it's 5 for the blacksmith, right? So we could actually afford to do that. Although we're saving... Oh wait, 20, it was 30 for an ox. 
Wasn't it? No, it was 30 for sheep. I think we have enough money now to buy another ox. Storage full at the stonecutters camp. I mean, that's not a bad thing. Okay, 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 okay. Hang on. Burgage, three of five. So I've got to upgrade three more spots. Because we need more money. So I'm going to upgrade that one. Three more, two more. Two more. And... I'm going to upgrade that one. Okay. Yeah. And that will bring us up to... We've already met the other requirements for the level ones. We exceed them. So that's fine. Oh, berries. So food gathering. I'll add one there. I'll take one away from the stone cutting since we have enough of that now. But we need to attract more people in. Still. Maybe I had a construction reserve of five. And then I did some construction and it so it's a so it's not a permanent setting but like a each time you want to use it thing question mark or it could just be that it didn't it didn't stick after the restart don't put the visit our pit come visit our pit So we would, uh, yeah, okay. What is it we need? Planks and, uh, yeah. Looks like I think there's two more bodies to bury. Yeah, I feel like I feel like it might just be a tiny bit sharper. I know we haven't used that sharpening setting, but I feel like the DLSS quality maybe makes like it feels to me like the houses pop a little bit more, but not not in a bad way. I love all the shrubbery and stuff growing in the back gardens while we go in, while we go into spring, fully into spring. That's cool. It does feel like it, like it feels like it just looks just a a smidge better. And considering we were already talking about how amazing it looks, um, that's saying something, right? Yeah. Oh, they are adding more. They're adding more. I wonder what's going to happen once we've got... I mean, not that more of you are going to die or anything. <laughs> but, you know, it's it's not inconceivable that there might be the one or the other. Perishing. Good morning, uh, Grams. Welcome on in. Rams, we were talking earlier about how we've got a weaver's hut, but we didn't have much in the way of armor and shields. So it was like, well, we'll get Grams to knit them some armor, to crochet some armor. And how we all did laugh. 
Maybe the peasants didn't laugh as much as, Thank as you, I did. Thank you, Joink, for the tier one gift sub to Black Hatter 1981. Gonna need a bigger church. Thank you, uh, Joint, for gifting Black Adder a tier one sub. Thank you, buddy. Much appreciated. Uh, let's just close this window here. Thank you, buddy. Yeah, I feel like it looks even sharper now. I don't know why it would pick the. The FSR is the default. That's how chainmail was invented. <laughs> you need some metallic thread. We're working on it. We've got our bloomery and our uh, smithy going. So yeah, the logging camp is always... Cool. I, yeah, I really think we should invest in a second ox. Speed some of these things up. Even though I did want to get the sheep for the wall. I think we might be just better off. I think I think they just can't keep up with the... Oh, it's got five in reserve now. Hold the phone. And... Blacksmith. Okay. And now, when we go back here, it asks, I've still got the five. So, yeah, maybe it was a, it didn't stick on, on reload. That could be a thing. I have to try and remember that. Feed that back to them. All right, gang. We're going to have a blacksmith. Burgage 2 plot under construction. Burgage 2 plot under construction. And then that one will go back into the numbers once it's ready. So yeah, we're going to fulfill all the requirements for the next level of the village. Get a great time, dinner with family, and really enjoyed your birthday. Wonderful, Grams. Let's go. More good vibes to spread around the community. Oh, did they have 21 dead? What did I lose? 16. I think it was 39 corpses in total. More, even more good vibes. <laughs> Yeah, I didn't think the game could get any prettier, but it really has gotten even prettier. Impressive. So I don't think we need anybody working the corpse bit anymore. It looks like it's all been done. Like there's no... Uh Oh, no unassigned families to guide the ox. <gasps> oh. Oh, snap. My bad. So. Oh, geez. Okay. That makes sense. So it's not just for the construction, but also. So that's why there wasn't any uh, locking work maybe going on there. Oh, look, so I lost 18. There you go. So 18 plus 21. There you go. Done. So sad, so sad. I've gained 720 influence. Nice. Citizens skip every fifth meal, reduces food consumption, decreases approval. Well, I don't want that. 
Okay, we're not going to worry about those. But soon we'll have another development point. And I think we'll go charcoal burning and then into deep mining before we use up all of our stone, which could then become a problem later on when I go to build myself the grandest of all manners that have ever been seen. Mind your manners. I certainly will, sir. I certainly will. Well, any unassigned family can use the ox to move things around for construction. And I just hadn't thought about the fact that if we need someone available to run the ox, generally, uh, there was everyone, the people were assigned to all the jobs and that. So there wasn't anybody free to move to, to use the ox. And therefore, you're not able to take things from the logging camp, for example, to the saw pit and get planks made because you need the ox to move those logs around. Stable space 101. So either you can permanently assign somebody to work the hitching post, if you could do that, or you need an unassigned person to do it. Interesting. Order another ox, 20 wealth. Oh, you can just do that here. You don't need the trading post. Oh, and I need to upgrade it anyway. I need two planks to upgrade the stable space to two. That's interesting as well. Oh, there you go. We're learning, chat. We're learning. We're learning. We're learning. Learning. Have I picked a spot for the manor yet? Not really, because I wanted to kind of have it high up, but we don't really have a high terrain. <clears throat> Maybe over here oh beyond dear. the church. I've wasted my points. On this little incline. Looks kind of nice. Um, could be a bit of a risk. Well, it'll have a defensive wall, right? So. What a waste of points, Dr. Waggy. Why on earth would you do that? What a complete waste. This game needs a Kelvin to move logs around. Yeah, and to get logs thrown in his face. <laughs> wow. Hey, Galtaki, how you doing? The game does look beautiful, doesn't it? And again, I think it looks even more beautiful now than, than the prior hours of gameplay we've put in because we switched up to uh, DLSS. I've generally, I've had mixed results with DLSS, not been a big fan of it so far in the few games I've, I've seen it. But this one seems to run, uh, work well with it. Is the temperature today it is way too hot for me no bueno allegedly 21 tomorrow raining and 16 nice and next weekend nine degrees nice perfect Hey, uh, uh, how do you say that? Sis, she? Siski? Sai? Sai, Sai, Shishki? Hello on the YouTube. Welcome in. Don't think that my butchery of names is limited only exclusively to Twitch. I can butcher names on any platform. Which is somewhat ironic considering the amount of effort I put into correcting and or correctly pronouncing the names in World of Warships and other similar circumstances. Vis a vis the Al Sachi. <laughs> now we only have seven months of food. We have taken on a lot more people. Fields, we were going to get into growing. How could you forget, chat? How 
could you have forgotten that? Can I have rye? Because I haven't unlocked it in the thing. How could you have forgotten, chat, to put fields and a farmhouse in? Unbelievable. Near the corpse field. are incorrigible uh plotting the fields fields in mana lords need to be very large to be effective but also take long to plow by hand for starting village try a field size of about one morgan okay who's gonna tell me what a morgan is uh later if you want the region to focus on farming you can consider spending a development point to unlock the heavy plow upgrade which allows plowing much bigger fields far more efficiently using oxen also remember to check the ground fertility. Some crop types are more picky about the soil they grow on. Got it. So what what is a good one to start with? Should we have barley? It's like two half Morgans. Thank you. That's cleared that up for me. No end. Half to two and a half acres. Is it an arm's length? I mean, that makes sense, right? That it's a Morgan's worth of work. Good Morgan. Is that what they used to say when somebody's made a nice field? Good Morgan. So I think it'll tell us probably while we're spreading it out, right? Uh, so what? Uh, can somebody tell me what Emma is? Because I can't remember. What is Emma? Is that sweet? Is it okay? So rye is more hearty, but I haven't unlocked the rye, so I can't. That's all. Okay, thanks, gang. Appreciate it. So. Maybe wheat. I mean, it'd be rude not to go secret wheat field, wouldn't it? So I'm sort of thinking... Like that chunk. I don't know if I go behind the field. I've got to think about where I'm going to... Mana Lord's going to go up there. Flax we can do almost anywhere. Barley is limited to down here. Where it's best down here. All right. I'm going to just start with this. Oh, it tells you there, look, 0 0.3. How many Morgans did it say to do? One. Okay. Thank you. you. You know what my memory's like. 1.1 Morgan, 1.2. I gotta have this slightly off shape here. I don't like the, the square. I'm gonna go 1.4 Morgans. Boom. 
Farm House employs families who work on the fields. The work is distributed proportionally in accordance with the field's set priority level. When crops are growing, they absorb certain nutrients from the soil, temporarily lowering its fertility and thus diminishing yields over time. To combat this, consider changing crop types or, even better, leave the field fallow for a year. Okay. That means we have to work until after lunch. Yes. Deal with it. Ah, here we go. So here it wouldn't let me pick uh, wheat and that. That's what I remembered it being a drop down here rather than being something you chose in the construction menu. <clears throat> so barley is for malt and ale. I can't believe nobody went for barley. So we're going to start with a secret wheat field. Um, and we're going to go crop rotation. In the second year, we're going to go fallow. No, wait. Second year, we'll go flax. And then we'll have a year of fallow. So it'll be like nutrients for grain, nutrients for flax, fallow. Nutrients for grain, and so forth. Does that look sensible? Field priority medium. Burn the field. No, there's an Ernie button. What? There's an Ernie button for the fields. Okay, this could be a terrible disaster. I should be careful about taking up my, my land for building as well, but... So that, I think that order makes sense because these shouldn't be, I don't know how the fertility and the nutrients works exactly, but I'm going to try it like that because otherwise I've got, in any case, I've got two crops back to back, right? Would it be better to have the follow in the middle, do you think? So that it does nutrient depletion. No, because then the second crop of wheat is going to suffer. So that, that, I thought I'm going to go with it. I'm going to go with that. That seems to make sense to me. All right. And we've got to build a farmhouse. We have one family free to do that. We now have a blacksmith. Oh, and we tell the blacksmith what to make. He can make tools. He can make sidearms. He can make spears and he can make pole arms. Uh, I think we need spears. Oh, that uses planks as well. Okay. Oh, jeez. <laughs> How are we doing for tools? We're fine. Okay. Even with those thieves. This is cool, though. I don't remember that, but then the war stuff wasn't in the game when we played the demo, right? That's pretty cool. Dub is the blacksmith? Or uh oh At least Tremor's there to keep an eye on Dub. Get some work done. That's lucky. Alright, we're going to need to bring some even more workers in. Even more workers. Oh, Dub probably missed it earlier. Dub, look. There's a house here with Cake, Cubby and Falcon. And uh, somewhere around here, the Muppet Show. There's CTs in this one over here. So uh, I was thinking of putting them in a military barracks together. You know, cadet training and all that. You can plant barley one year and potatoes the next year. Nice. Yeah, I was thinking of building a veggie uh, plot. <clears throat> Maybe we should have that somewhere here as well. We can actually afford that. Why not? Let's have veggies. Uh, should we have them nearer to the... Wait, I did uh, make some of the bigger back garden, right? 
I'm going to have the veggies there. Next to the tavern. And not to, not so far away from the marketplace. This looks cool, though. Look at the field. That looks awesome. <laughs> this game just keeps drawing me further and further in. I'm very smitten. <laughs> If the army falls now, we can blame Gov for shoddy weapons. True story. Looks like Mark knows what he's dealing with. We have to wait another 500 years for potatoes. Beer and vodka. Yeah, they, that's not in the game. That's handled by a uh, vegetable plot that we're putting in there uh, rather than, or in here rather. I, I wanted that there because I thought that would look kind of cool that she's got to work that. They got to work that in to that space. That's, there they are starting to work the veggie plot. I think that's going to be a cool thing. Okay, how did we get? We got four out of five torps. I mean, burgage plots. Hold that thought. Oh, right sneeze. Are they all built then, the burgage plots? No, that one's still under construction. Okay, we nearly got that. Okay, so I spent all that money. We need to remind me to get another ox. Uh oh, we got a joke for you. How many insects do you need to make money from rental property? Eh? Ten ants! Ten ants! Thanks, Omni. Omni's on the ball there. Thank you. Very much appreciated. His lordship appreciates. We start bringing some more people in. Again. It's getting crazy. But now we're getting into crops as well. I'm happy with that. And stones. Is it time to start the Manor Lord? Or are we going to leave that for next year? Is that going to be a year three project? Maybe being silly. Maybe. It, um, so we still need more planks. Man, why are we doing so bad with planks? Let's get more people working logging again. No, well, it's it's just the plank production. We just don't get enough done. Uh, oh, now we're making. Um, yeah, we don't even have our reserve, so I think it all comes. It's all boiling down to the ox. It's too much construction work going on. It's all boiling down to the ox. Where is the ox right now, anyway? I'm oxing you a question. Where are you, ox? Be 
shy, good oh, here you are. Okay, you, you, you're getting some work done. Slowly, slowly. Let's just follow our uh, un unmentionable named ox around the place. Plank production's a bit of a sore point. That's a cutting remark. I don't know. I've heard that the renaming the ox can bog it out completely. Stat said he was having that problem, I think. So what I know is we tried, I think, three times to rename this one and it wouldn't stick. So we're just going to ignore it for now. Oh, you know, I'm not helping myself either because I keep starting all these construction projects in parallel. I know I could set one as a higher priority, but that's not helping the the thingy bob either. Once we've got enough money, once we get 20 gold again, we'll buy another ox. Perhaps it was simply a bad batch. Sounds like Dob selling his potions in Conan. Is the clay pit empty yet? I would have thought that maybe had run out by now. No? Well, maybe the, maybe the clay is one of those ones that will come back over time or something. I don't know. Stats, how does clay work? <coughs> I asked the resident geologist. Damn it. Damn it, stats. Monday to Friday mostly. Nice. Nice one, Claytis. Nice. Well played, sir. Well played. That one that one's a round of applause. Chapeau. Yeah, we definitely need more people again. Holy cow, we'd only just expanded. And now we've got to expand again. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I was more asking IRL, like... Describe to me... Talk, talk to me about the keywords clay and renewable resource. Or formation. Ed Edumacate me. I mean, you don't have to. I'm only, you know, not telling you what to do with your time. <laughs> I kind of wanted a one one house there. It's expandable, expandable, and a working area. Oh, well, that's that. I like that. That's neat. Yes, I like that. Where that plot goes around there. Yeah. Okay, I'll build two then. That's cool. As long as they're not these just these boring long plots all the time makes me happy <clears throat> if
if you wait long enough it's renewable do you have several million years to wait i mean i'm playing on the slowest game pace <laughs> yeah even the dwarves um uh what was i gonna say forgotten no matter <laughs> no ambition where's the grid plan for the town square no nope no square things here nothing square look not even the field is square no squares here. I'm going to put the manor up here. And that will be... F I remember that being f a bit fiddly with building the walls around and getting the gate in. So we'll have to see how that is now. I have a town parallelogram. <laughs> I have a town parallelogram. Hey, how do... Hey, stats is one for you. How do... How do uh, geometrists communicate? They send each other parallelograms. Yeah. 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 Knocks it out of the park. It's gone. It's gone. It's out of the park. It's gone out of the park. Yes. Can it stay out there? Oh. Taxi for grumbles. Oh. Makes me wish I still had that baseball bat I got in America. So I could probably clumsily swim it, swing it and take out at least two of my three monitors. Oh my god. They send each other parallelograms. Oh. So good. Thank you, Joink, for the tier one gift sub to Hijack Maniac. Hey, Joint, thank you for gifting Hijack Maniac a tier one sub. Joint going crazy with the gift subs today. That's your audience that left for the park? <laughs> no, please, everybody come back. I, I promise I won't make another. I promise I won't make another baseball joke. That's my first stop. It'll be a short stop. Knocked it out of the park and through the neighbor's greenhouse. Yeah. That one was out of left field. Yes. Nice. Let's go. Let's go. I've got a pretty solid batting average as far as these puns go. <laughs> it certainly wasn't crickets. Any more baseball puns and we will strike. Let's go. I tell you what though, I caught you out there. I threw you a bit of a curveball. It's around us, the same vicinity. Oof. Oof. Here we get to watch some more time lapse construction. The farmhouse. The two other houses there. <clears throat> Yeah.
Yeah, I love it. I mean, the developer is just a real stickler for detail on that. And, you know, I really appreciate that really comes through in the game. Oh, look at that. Fastball special from Grams. Luckily, there's no umpire in chat. Nice. Nice. I'll let you be the judge of that. <clears throat> it's that's why reckless that's why it's so hard to judge if there's been enough uh baseball puns or too many because we lack the empirical data. <laughs> and I think to hijack's point, we'll let some of these jokes slide. Look at this. Look how beautiful this is. This is like the start of a, a fantasy story, you know? This is where I'd want to dive in with a group, uh, you know, a group of players and, and run like a D&D &D game session oh dear. I've wasted my point. you know where you go in and you meet at the tavern here beautiful I love it <laughs> I'd have sent it one back to the dugout by now these are too much. I think I'll take a walk. Nice. Striking as all these puns are. A swing and a miss. Nice. Let's go. Good job. Yeah. Well, he worked with an orchestra and a choir, right? In a proper recording studio. So once they were like building up, and it was like a GoFundMe or a Kickstarter or whatever kind of thing. But there was so much love coming in for the game that he was able to actually uh, invest in, you know, really high quality music and and vocals. What a waste of points, Disco. Now, we have had an instance where lightning struck one of our buildings and it burned down. And I think it was even next door to... Oh, sugar! No! No! What? The timing of that! Holy ship! Oh my god! Somebody's got to clip that for me. Who let Ernie in? Somebody's got to clip that for me. Look at the villagers coming to... Holy bonobos. Do you know what the absolute worst thing is? That's the flipping saw pit, right? For the planks that we're desperately waiting on. Thanks, Aaron Jesus. Yeah, it was. Look at it all go down. They're throwing water on it, but they can't put it out quick enough. Oh my god. What a disaster. And look, here's the well. So there you get a view of your 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 strategy or positioning of your well 
compared to your former like the puns or something yeah holy bonobos batman that was amazing what a great sequence The fire looked really epic and all the villagers just running around and trying to hustle. No! No, not like this! No! Not like this! Oh, that's so sad! Holy bonobos, our ox died in the fire. Thank you for the follow, Tom Figgimmer. What? Thank you for the clips, folks. I really appreciate it. Our ox died in the fire? What? That's like the saddest thing ever. This is just rubble. Rebuild. Reconstruct the demolished building, yeah. But I probably don't even have the... Holy bonobos. So the saw pit went up in flames after being struck by lightning. Just as we were talking about it. But not only that... We look, look at this. Look, Silver is just... He's just like, what do I do? Silver is just like, what do I do? Uh, what happened to our ox that shall not be named? You were in charge of the ox. What? What was happening? Don't you know, Silver, they're trying to put out a great fire at the saw pit using the ox... As a urine fire hydrant isn't the most appropriate method. You owe me and the village one ox. Now, Chop Chop, get to work. Need a beef potato and veggie stew. Get that over to the tavern kitchen. I'm sure Winter can make something of it. Oh my god, that is... That is just shocking, but also brilliant that that can happen. I mean, if that ain't worth, if that ain't worth your money for the game, I don't know what is. Holy cow! Well, a barbecued cow. Ah! Oh. Holy bovine bonobos! Sure smart. Cheers, hijack. Have a great walk. Enjoy the rest of your Sunday, bud. Let's go. I actually feel kind of sad that we lost the ox. Like, not from a game point of view, but it's just... We can't even say the ox's name. <laughs> Poor old Seaward, the ox. <laughs> we call him Seaward. We'll call the next one Seaward. Oh no. Oh no, we can't rename them anyway. We we'll just call him that. Shocking. Absolutely shocking. I mean, lightning strike. Li quite literally shocking. I know, it is as if the game's like, oh, you look like you're really looking for some planks for your progression. Kablamo. Yeah, exactly. We just say Kunz, like a German uh, surname. Wow. 
Wow. So sad, so sad. So now we've got to spend the village's hard-earned money on importing an ox. Wow, losing your only ox, man. The good news is we don't have to increase the stable space to add an ox now. <laughs> that's the that's the only it's not really a silver lining. What are these lot up to? Oh, mercenaries of the Brotherhood of the Forest. Okay. Hopefully they'll go and beat up those bandits. If they didn't do it already. Might have done. It's cool to look down from above on our what we've got, right? I'm taking a few pictures every once in a while to like look back on on the progress over time. It's cool. Hey Red Snare, how you doing? Welcome in. Good day to you too. Hey Bogger. What does the farmer call the dead cow? Doesn't matter what you call her, she won't come to you. <laughs> too soon. Too soon. We have upgraded to large village status. We have a point. Yeah, kind of. I don't know if I should go for the deep mining, but... Maybe there's something else that would do us better in this pre-release version. I mean, beekeeping, I, I always like that. I love, I'm a sucker for honey. Orchards will probably look amazing, but I I don't know if we have enough time. And yeah, heavy, heavy I can't even keep one ox alive, let alone two. Still tempted by this passive firewood and bread, but again, we're not really starving, although we're getting a bit pushed for food now. Maybe if we have a charcoal kiln, we'll use less wood in that direction, and then we can save more wood for the other. So hard to choose, man. I want honey. Oh, is it when we get the wax that we can start having candles on the houses? Is that a thing in this game, or am I thinking Medieval Dynasty? be neat to have oxen plowing the fields though. Also this is cool the fertilization of the putting putting the pasture animals uh, it allows you to use a fallow field as pasture to restore the fertility quicker. Some really really neat choices to make here. The sheep allows us to have sheep. It's just unlocked us having sheep breeding. We haven't got enough money to buy the sheep yet, but we're working towards it. Do you know what? I might go with honey. Because then we can... Uh, that's a different, probably, food source than that as well. So that might make people happy with the food variety. That's so, Never make my mind up, can I? Uh... I think it'll be fun. We've, I've never seen it before, so I'm going to do the bees just because then I can showcase the bees. I've never done that before. Yep. Yep, 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 yep. We just look at something we haven't seen before. 
Yeah, it's cool. Some honey to go with my porridge. I'm hungry, as also. I didn't eat really anything at the last break. So, uh... I'll make myself some food. People want more than charred meat, apparently. Rude, eh? They want everything with a moon on a stick. Uh, quite possibly. I know that we need the um, malt barley and then malt and then brewing in that direction. Uh, so this use, this makes ale from malt. The home brewery type thing. I'm not sure what the dedicated um, what there is here. Malt house, yeah, barley to produce malt, and then you feed that to the breweries in the people's houses. So that's a two-stepper. Oh, so if we do assign somebody to the ox thing, it does actually speed up deliveries because I suppose no one's having to walk there to go and grab it and stuff. They're actually tending the ox. Hmm. Maybe we're going to go with that as well. What's going on here? What's going on here? Lady L again. And Mims having a good old natter by the fence there. A little chin wag. Spreading the town gossip. Storage is full at the storehouse. Okay. I mean, I could just allow the other stuff to go here as well, I suppose. Yeah, I guess we just open it up for everything again. I see crafting materials can go there. Is that just a lack of people? Might be. Oh no, chat, I just realized. Of course, none of the construction work is gonna proceed until we have, we're, we're stuck now. We're stuck because without an ox, we can't bring the logs and everything to, uh, we can't bring the logs. Oh, fudgesicles. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We're, we're, we're screwed right now. Dang, Nabbit. What can a mule do? Yeah, so I have to save up for a new ox. I don't think we can even... We can't even do the upgrades to the burgages to earn more money. We've just got to wait now. We're just we're just in a holding pattern. Uh, it's 20. I don't have a trading post, and I don't think I could build one now. So the loss... The loss of our ox has uh, stifled progress significantly. Yeah, yep, yep, yep. I I didn't uh, think of that until now. But we're uh, we're stuck. We're stuck in a in a between a rock and an ox place. 
Can you trade him for the old ox with one careful owner? <laughs> Yeah, no, there was a lightning strike here at the saw pit. The saw pit was destroyed. So this is why these are waiting. Because there's nothing for them to do. But right now... Right now, nothing can be done. So what we can do instead is we... Uh, well, we can't even up our timber production. Because we can't take... We can't drag the logs anywhere. Surely the villagers should be able to get together and, I don't know, do some stuff. We can increase smithing. And... No, there's no more iron. Oh! Somewhere along the line, we exhausted our iron deposit. No sign families. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So... There's nothing for the bloomery to do. So that can be unassigned. Oh no, this is all, it's all collapsing around our ankles. Nightmare. Nightmare. I like that it complained that there was no set families free to build the, uh... There was no free families to build the, the farm. But we can't, without an axe, ox. Without an axe or an ox. We can't do it anyway. Clothing stall finished. Nice. At least they can do some light stuff. Excellent. Uh, yeah. Nothing, uh... Nothing much we can do right now. Bummer. Bummer. And I guess we're just going to keep earning some coin from our Burgage 2s. Even if the blacksmith can't do his trade. What a nightmare. At least we've got our vegetable patch. We've got our carrots growing. Nice. And some sunions. I think we're going to survive. Okay. We, we just have to wait for more income. I'm a little bit worried that the income thing isn't moving at all. But I think it only ticks up very slowly. I suppose I haven't really paid attention to it so far. Because we've not really uh, needed to. And now I realize... That we're kind of... Uh, yeah, we're kind of stiffed. Well met. That's rather unfortunate, isn't it? I guess we're just going to have to sit and wait for a little bit. We'll give it like five minutes or whatever. Five, ten minutes. We'll have to see if... Um, if we start getting some more coin there. Because if we don't... The high price is like... Yeah, absolutely. Well, so... So, yeah. So, here's the thing, right? In order to do that trade... We would have to have a trading post. In order to build a trading post, it needs four pieces of timber. And guess what would normally bring the timber to the construction site? Yep, you guessed it. Old Betsy here. Uh, I, own, I have, so there's two different trading sites. There's this one, which is for livestock. Uh only and then there's the other one which is for goods it's just sleeping <laughs> i'm i i'm just concerned that's what i mean is surely that 
surely people would the people could do it but they just it would just be difficult but I don't know I've never run into this circumstance before uh, it's June let's see when we go through July maybe then we've got some money <laughs> question mark there's been a murder hey Lima how you doing bud Oh, there you go. Look, 18 coin. So we switched to July. So it's not too bad. We just have to wait through till August and then we can buy an ox. That's, 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 that's actually a really cool thing. Like it sucks for the current circumstance, but in terms of that being a risk in the game, I think that's amazing. Careful not to rely on one ox. Been thinking about getting another ox, but never taken the plunge. Is there a bandit camp we can attack for money? I don't think we would get money from it, would we? We get reputation. Uh, there was one over here, but I think it's been wiped out. There is one all the way over there, but that's such a long way away. By the time our people get there, it would probably be in August. And then we could just bring one in. Wow. Wow. Pfft. Still shows it. Actually, do if do I need to put somebody on the corpse pit to deal with the dead body of the ox? Question mark, cause oh, hey, Sunday light to one. Thanks for hitting that follow button. Oh. It's so sad. Oh, uh, unassigned families need... That's okay. We're not doing any construction right now. Uh, Sunday Elite 21, thank you for the follow. And Tom the Gamer. Thank you for the follow as well. Welcome aboard. So actually there's kind of nothing for these guys to do right now because I have no... I have no more iron ore, right? No. So we can close that down. We'll close that one down. Tannery's working double shift. Yeah, it looks like, um, looks like we're shoot out of luck. And I, I really, I don't know if, um, if old Betsy here goes there or if it needs to be somebody working at the church. Do we give Betsy a church burial? We'll find out. The tannery, yeah. The tannery is still functioning with the hunters and that. So we're good there. We don't have a butcher as such. That's what I mean. Put us near the inn so maybe winter could come and uh, come and do the goods. Kinda sucks. We could just speed up, but it won't take that long to get to August. Uh, I don't know if Winter's still alive. Unfortunately, there's no simple register of the people. Uh, I don't know if Winter actually... We've made it Winter's Tavern. I'm not sure if Winter actually got I can't remember yesterday if we actually named a person Winter or not. Got a funny feeling we didn't get around to it. Or we didn't have anyone free at that time. It's 
Yeah, I've got a feeling that that's what happened is that we didn't have anybody. So that's why we made it Winter's Tavern. Oh, we have Fritz down here now, though. I've just noticed. There we go. There you go. <laughs> it's just the big red bull. The big red dead bull symbol at the top of the screen. Why is nothing going on in your game right now, Grumbles? Shiny Vil lacks a bull. It's absolute bull. Oh, we're just going through a bit of a rough year. That's all. We're just going through a bit of a rough year. You know what would be nice for the nighttime mode? And maybe it'll come along later. It would be if the shrines had like little candles in them or you could put like little um, torches up. Not that you'd want to like ruin your... You know, overload your GPU or something. But so you, meh, that could go wrong, I suppose. I, I've, I can't, I really can't remember if, I know in Medieval Dynasty, you can get to the point where you can make candles and stuff inside the houses. I can't remember if that's the thing here. Population is looking good. We got, we have got up to sixty. Uh, I would, you know, again, we would increase, we'd add some more houses, but we can't right now. Well, I'm sorry, I misspoke. We are adding two more houses down here near the farm. But, uh, yeah, we can't, uh, can't get, can't get anything done right now. Until August. We have to buy ourselves in a new, uh, a new ox. What's going on over here? Brigands? Whoa! Whoa, we're under attack. Whoa, 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 whoa. Enemy unit spotted. Rally the troops. Rally the troops. Whoa. Those were sneaking up on us. Who's this guy? Oh, that's ours. <laughs> I don't know why the symbol was red. I was like, what? Is that an enemy? No, oh, it's ours. I love that I have my good vibes logo all over there, banners and stuff. Fire! Right, your unit one, your unit two. Wow, we've only just seen these bandits. Only just noticed them in time. What are they? Are they running for it? Because their sneak attack hasn't worked? Are they running away? Because we've caught them? Wow. Wow. Is it one unit or two? I don't know. What if they've got another unit in the forest, though? This could be dangerous. I can't remember if there was one or two units. I think they were just trying to sneak up on us. Because they, I, I don't see any other units around. I feel like they were just trying to sneak attack our village. Kick us while we're down, you know? I think they're trying to kick us while we're down. I really do. Let's go, we're firing on them. Yes. It's war. It's 
Stand your ground. They're getting peppered. Get them, archers. They've broken. Get them. Smack them. Get get them. Get, oh, get them. Okay. Don't worry. Actually, stop. You're right. You're fine. The archers will finish them off. We got them. Victory. Yes. Okay. Go back to your life. Go back to your life. Good job. Go. That one. That one was for Betsy. That one was for Betsy. Did they bring an ox with them? Next time, bring an ox. You silly biscuits. You know what the worst thing is? We're going to have to go down there and clear up the, the corpses, right? You got to clean up the mess. Uh, there was a little bit of excitement I wasn't expecting. An ox replacement service. It's not like the medieval equivalent of the bus replacement service. <laughs> yeah, I went with the more cautious approach this time, and I the archers. I, and now I got to see uh, more clearly the range uh, and capability of the archers, so we can have them safely behind the front line. Like I was doing more uh, like total war kind of tactics before. And it's not necessary. I would still feel more comfortable if we could bring in more, you know, have a, a larger military, but I don't know if I need a third unit, but at least full strength, two full strength units. There should be plenty of people around to do the cleanup. This is also true. Strictly speaking, I don't need anybody on construction right now, so we can just do that. But then the game will bellyache at me for not having people available for construction, I think. That's okay. That was exciting. I mean, bellyache, it just brings up a symbol. It's not that big of a deal. Have a cleanup crew of consisting of a bunch of wolves. I don't know if I want to introduce wild wild wolves as a problem for my uh, by settlement. Although that would be another thing that maybe that will come on the roadmap as well, right? I'm sure it's being considered. April 26th, folks. Not long to wait. April 26th, early access launch. And, uh, yeah, I have a lot, a lot of confidence in uh, the developer and in the publishers. Hey, Malvinius, how you doing? Oi, oi, Savaloi. And yeah, I do get it, and I, I kind of, you know, sorry, not sorry sort of thing. I know I get to play it early, and it sucks if you don't have access to it. I totally get that. But just think, it'll be even more polished when it does launch. Huh? Be even better. Uh, over in the bottom right, just next to crumbs, you can see, if you look over there... Next to crumbs where the tail's wagging, you'll see July. You don't see a specific date.
Only partners got early access? I don't think that's true. Or, or, or the case, is it? It might be. I'm jealous. Well, I know, and I do feel, you know, a little bit, not guilty, but like, I do feel for you if you're really, 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 really excited and looking forward to it. I hope you can get some enjoyment of this nonetheless. <laughs> Insert Cringer's line about a a streaming empire or whatever it was, the creator empire. need a Twitch empire to get access to it. <laughs> no, I, I, I do not believe you had to be partnered. Um, but I don't know. I've been, yeah, that's right. Jetty was playing it as well. That's yep. So yeah, you don't have to be a Twitch partner. Uh, maybe just had to be in contact with them early enough because uh, I am certain for a game that's been wishlisted on Steam like two million times and more how can you far how far can you zoom out so there's two things red snare one if you keep scrolling out and out and out and out you go seamlessly into the world map like that but also when you go to the control plus C key um, cinematic mode, it limits how far you, that's how far you can zoom I've out got coffee. cinematically. Else can wait. Now it's sort of cloudy and misty, so you can't see it that well, but, but that's another one of the elements that I really love. Uh, and as you zoom in, you get the different angles like that. So from here, you've got top down. Oh, that's a bit giddying. Sorry. Uh, and you've got like that. That's there. Down to grass level. Street level. It's pretty. It's pretty. Yeah, i got to go and get some food. I am uh, very hungry. So I'm going to make myself a little snacky snack. Uh, and I'll leave you with the village. You're in charge, chat. Why is the wrong? No lightning gone? strikes. Actually, hang on. Did we get enough for an ox yet? No. Okay, you're in charge. When I come back, I expect you to have made us enough money uh, that we can get ourselves an ox. And if not, I'm going to be oxfully disappointed. The ox is still there. Yeah, I don't think they take the ox away somehow. That might be a soon TM feature. So we tried. We put somebody working the church. And we put a couple of people working the corpse pit. In fact, it looks like they actually found... Oh, yeah, they have got... There are some more dead bodies. That's fine, because we just had another fight. Yeah. All right. One is enough, though. All right. And we don't need anybody. We didn't lose anybody this time, so we don't need anyone work in the church. All right, I'll be right back, folks. Enjoy, look after the village. And, uh, yeah. I don't want any more losses while I'm away, okay? Promise me you won't lose me an ox while I'm away. thought of that all on my own.
Chewie, thanks for hitting that follow button. Stop it. No more. I burn. I burn. To ashes with me. All right, I see the village isn't ablaze in spite of Silver's best attempts. I am most pleased with this. You have done well, peasants. I mean, chat. Well done. Good vibes, everybody. Uh, Niwi, thank you very much for the follow. Much appreciated. Welcome aboard. Frostpunk 2 beta starts tomorrow? Yeah. But it's, uh, it's a buy-in beta. You've got to pre-order the game. Uh, they don't do any personal contact anymore. I, uh, they let me know politely, but I have to apply via key mailer now, so. It did burn down, but you rebuilt it all. I mean, that's, that's pretty impressive without an ox as well. That's, that's doubly impressive. Okay. We're in August. We have 24 coins. We go over to the hitching posts and we're going to click add an ox. Boom. Livestock ordered placed. Okay. I don't know how long it's going to take to get here. I don't know if we need this to be active for it to happen. So we're going to fire, uh, we're going to, we use Jurek as the ox. I mean, okay. Sounds, that's, you know, pretty smart. 
I mean, he's strong enough to carry all that plot armor around with him all the time, so... What happened to my ox? Wait, did you miss that? Did you miss what happened to Betsy? Are you saying you missed what happened to Betsy got... Okay. All right, chat. We take a break from our normal programming to uh, to watch Stop. a clip. Stop it. No more. Together. Because I, I, I haven't watched any of these clips yet. So let's let's imagine together, or let's relive together what. Uh, what happened? Now, we have had an instance where lightning struck one of our buildings and it burned down. And I think it was even next door to... Oh, sugar! No! No! What? The timing of that? There is Betsy walking past. Holy shit! There's, then there's Betsy dying. Now we have had an instance where so somebody struck one of our buildings and it burned. Whoever down. was in charge of Betsy, who it was Silver. Silver and brought. I think it was even next door to. Oh sugar! No! No! What? You couldn't. The timing of you that. couldn't write the timing of this holy ship now we have had an instance where lightning one, one struck one of our buildings and it burned down and i think it was even next door to oh sugar no no what? The timing of that? Holy ship. And there, look. Silver turns Betsy around. Now, we have had an... In right at the end of the clip. He turns Betsy around. And Betsy goes down like a sack of suds. Look at that. What? <sighs> You, can't, you really, you can't write this stuff sometimes. What a Muppet. Exactly. Hey, Dr. Doody, how you doing, buddy? Turn Betsy around to get an even roast. <laughs> wow. I mean, this is starting to sound more and more suspicious. Like, Silver, I think there's a case starting to unfold here against you, Silver. Look at our vegetable patches. Nice. Okay, is our, um... Uh... I bet we need this for it to come in. But I don't know for sure. 
our money's gone. Who's next? Is there a trader hauling an ox towards us? No. <laughs> I suspect that we might be the best placed having somebody there mind you it says we have one so I don't know maybe we need a family assigned I don't think it's a bad idea. It says it works more efficiently with them assigned anyway, so I think we're just going to have a family assigned to working the hitching post permanently. I don't know. I mean, we couldn't for science it. We can take that person away. Stable space one of two, though. I know I, th I think we need this. I think we need that. No, it can't. Oh, to be honest with you, logically, it can't be. Because if you couldn't replace your ox. After placing an order, livestock merch will come to your town and deliver the animal. Order can be placed once a month. There you go. If you couldn't bring in an ox and or a horse here. You, you would be screwed. That would be game over. He's not really in a rough shape so much as he's in I think that's showing total state stable space so one there one there or whatever he's not so much in rough shape as he's in sort of a steak like shape uh, we didn't buy it at the livestock we, we bought it here here we go it's arriving. It was just it was just en route. Panic over. And that guy was the trader, because the trader's always wearing like a cowl over their head. So what name did we get? Apparently the renaming the ox can bug your game out. Uh Okay, the new ox doesn't have a name and the old ox is still shown. Have a good look and a giggle at the name, and then we move on. <laughs> yeah, I can't rename it. And I can't say the name out loud because uh, stats said that it's getting people demonetized on YouTube. <laughs> yeah, it's like, it's ridiculous, but also funny. I would call this <laughs> I would call this one side order side order <laughs> or seconds <clears throat> I 
Lady L again is the ox handler. There you go. At least the ox is in caring hands. Or, whoa. Easy there. Holy cow. Tearing, tearing it up through the town. Chewy. Oh, no. Overdone. Grams, take care. Lovely to have you here with us again. Have a wonderful rest of your uh, Sunday, Grams. Go check out Crochet 70, everybody. She's awesome source. Great stories, wonderful crocheting. And a lovely sense of humor. Okay, now we can get our farm built. <clears throat> We've got to save all that money up again, though, to get the sheep. It's a little frustrating. I guess sheep's... Well, I guess farming is for next year, to be honest. We ain't going to get no farming now. But we can add some more people to the town. And I've still got a really good approval rating for Jeff, so things aren't going that badly. Hey, awesome Nightwish. That's kind of you. But seriously, you know, I wouldn't recommend people if I didn't believe it. Where's my other mallet? Maybe we should go double ox before we go sheep. And anything we don't like, we just cover it up. We don't make it. Just happy with the Yeah, it's a good idea. I mean, you don't need to take out two. You don't even need to take out one. Yeah, that, so the construction is based off of on a sign number here. So we're, we're good. They're, they're working on it. Let me get some more people in. The clay has been finished. No more clay. I'm a bit worried we're going to get through that stone pit before we get the mining. Uh... Oh, we took honey anyway. Yeah, I don't know. Well, it is what it is. Storehouse. Whoa. So all three of our storehouses are full? Holy cow.
You know what I'm glad? I'm glad that the road presumably acted as a fire break uh, between oh, if I assign a family now to the church now that they have an ox will they or does the ox just lay there dead forever now don't know so our new ox is called Albrecht at least we can say our new ox's name. <laughs> I guess all the corpses have been cleaned up from over here. By now, wherever they were, looks like it. I need to build another storage house. Crazy talk. Although the extra houses will empty some of the storage out. We did get a new ox. Yep, 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 yep. Harvest the harvest season started everybody get get to it harvest season <laughs> started Dag nabbit No chance of that Actually, we're a little bit low on fuel So maybe we need another woodcutters lodge worker yeah I'm pretty sure that's not gonna do anything how dare you praise for lightning no why would you do that also 169 firewood so rude <clears throat> I didn't gain any reputation for beating up those bandits proactively or I suppose they were just attacking us we didn't really take we didn't take a camp out or anything I mean, yeah, I suppose it'd be funny in a few days when I've had time to cool off and get over it. I don't know if it's funny right now. Bloody hell. Another, imagine another thunderstorm now. It's not going to happen. But we can imagine it. No way lightning can strike twice. Yeah, absolutely red snare. The developer worked directly with an orchestra and a, and a choir and music producers and stuff on it. And as they were composing and playing and singing various things, 
he was like there's a there's a video on youtube about the production of the ost it's really worth uh, watching no, I can't jinx it, Joint. It's not going to happen. We, lightning isn't going to strike twice in one day in one or in one year in one village. That's not a thing. That's not a thing that the game does. Sure of it. Hey, LC. <clears throat> we mostly had to just wait until uh, until the uh, next uh, until we were able, we had enough money to buy an, a new ox. So we now have a new ox whose name we can say. Thor is on cooldown. Shush. It's not going to happen. Not going to happen. I really I like this one. This is cool. We've got some funky looking uh, properties. You yeah, know, they've done a, a marvelous job. Three and one. Three and one combo there. Hundred percent LC, hundred percent, yep. Hundred percent we had a chit chat about that before, but yeah. Definitely not the case here. Cause it made a massive splash in the demo scene last year in April. Or around then. This is heavier than it looks. And there was a lot of clamor, a lot of excitement, like, oh, just give us this now in early access, it's fine. And he was like, no, no, there's 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 more to come, there's more to it. Combat thing's not ready in that. And uh yeah. Taking it oh taking an extra year. Why thank you. Why, thank you, sir. And it's nice, again, to play a game like this where you can just, you know, take it at your own pace. Look at the colours changing subtly into, uh, into autumn. Look at that. The seasonal changes are one of my favorite uh, sort of subtle aspects to this too. I already fell in love with that last year. This is so well done. Um, so, uh, beekeeping was something that we had unlocked. Uh... Oh wait, is that an actual dedicated building? I wonder.
It is. Cost two planks, doll. Doll. Where do we want the bees? Probably not by the tavern. Probably out by the farm. Not enough goods. Oh, I know, but won't you let me place it in the van? No. Dang it. I don't know. Jury's still out on that one yet with the mead. Yeah, let's save up for another ox. I think that's the smart option. Given our uh, experiences. With said creature. Look at this, the poor... Poor Albrecht is like... Wait, isn't that Betsy? Betsy, is that you? Betsy? Are they, I hope they're treating you well here, Betsy. Betsy? More peoples. Minion. Straight into battle. I don't know. I assume that that's another polish factor. Morley, you're in. I'm ready. Well, we've had two lots of combat today already. One of them was easy peasy and the first one which was my first go at the combat was a little rougher it didn't go terribly badly but it was it was close to going badly all right lima you're in Yeah, no, I, I do wish that either there was some lighting with the optional night day night mode. I know again it has no mechanical impact on the game whatsoever, but I like it. But I do wish that there was lighting that we could put up. Maybe when we get the wax going. Maybe. We shall see. When we get an extra ox, we will assign it to the saw pit. That's what we need to do. Now, I wonder if we keep it at the trading post. Oh, 
or if we need to upgrade the hitching post or if we buy another hitching post you know we might as well just buy another hitching post unless when you assign one here it adds I can't see extending it to add a hitching post oh wait assign livestock worker yeah, yeah no that's gonna be an animal okay we have another building done lovely jubbly can also be expanded and there's a backyard slot <coughs> this is what it feels like to be an ox during a thunderstorm in my village <coughs> no. <coughs> enlightening <laughs> gonna be a couple of months yet before we can get the uh the second ox though unless i can get another upgrade done which we can now Oh, that'll put all three of those at level two. Solid. This is this is the rich end of town. So that's already a, those are both level twos as well. So that's finishing that row off there. And then this is a one, and this is a one. That's a two because of the blacksmith. We need seven level two and we need three level threes. But in order to do a, three, a level three, we need to improve the tavern facilities. And oh, we need to upgrade the church and we need to start producing booze and clothing. So it's quite a lot to get to tier three, which makes sense because it's the top tier for now we're still relying a lot oh there you go it does count as a food source yeah so we're still relying a lot on uh oh oh oh, oh. if you happen to be moving while the save happens sometimes it flies along the screen at you Hey, Mara. That's how you can tell who's in charge, yeah. That's Betsy after laying out in the elements for too long now. Yes. Oh, how is Betsy? Uh, I mean, the grass is growing kind of through her. She could be looking worse. We haven't managed to do anything yet in terms of expansion, but that's also because we uh, um, haven't built our manor and also we're doing it so super slow-mo, but that's cool. I like, I prefer super slow-mo. Yeah, the map's solid, right? And you get a different starting spot and resources. Uh, sort of RNG'd a bit as well and there's different there's three different like starting scenarios and then gradients for like additional difficulty parameters and stuff resource parameters that sort of thing bandits and competitive AI or not so you can go from like this we're in the middle like the default and you can go to more relaxed no bandits and AI and stuff 
and you can go on the challenging end more aggressive enemies and competitors in the region and stuff like that and more bandits and the i've got to say that the combat is uh you know like a somewhat simplified kind of total war style but it works and i like it feels it feels neat it's a nice additional element to the game that i wasn't sure how much it would bring but when it happens it feels kind of exciting and worth it and i think i'm not being very like militaristic and aggressive with my play style but it is part of our victory conditions so at some point we will have to build up and put a uh, put a little, little army together good morning hula how are you doing good sir you're still chopping wood for us hey hula do you want do you want to see a thing do you want do you, i assume if you're just joining i gotta i gotta i gotta show it again chat hang on i gotta show my body here another another go hang on all right one second watch this who watch this who look now we have had an instance where lightning struck one of our buildings and it burned down and i think it was even next door to oh sugar no no what the timing of that watch the ox closely there holy ship and this was the sawmill and then our ox died now we have had an instance where lightning struck one of our buildings and it burned down terrible and i think it was even next door to oh sugar i wouldn't summon no! a lightning storm no what the timing of that unbelievable holy ship yeah 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 mm-hmm that happens You can't make that stuff up. How was your grandson's uh, oobly do? That was yesterday, right? Two years. Oh, one moment, doorbell. and run
Big blowout yesterday. Awesome, man. I hope you got to let your hair down. Do, 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 do. Yeah, Disco, I turned it up more. But I don't know. Uh, was it low for everyone else? It's tricky to judge when you're replaying a clip. Live in the dream, man. Live in the dream. I have to control the volume of the browser uh, clip separately so it might have been a little bit too low uh, I turned it up a, a quite a fair amount it wasn't too much more I could have turned it up about three more notches so I don't know maybe it was too quiet I think people got the gist of the clip though but how would they know though Oh no, stuff is going to waste. They're storing stuff on the floor because there's not enough storage again. Okay. it helps to have a storehouse like at the other end of town uh possibly we might it depends if we have enough maybe we could try building the trading post I'm a bit wary of having so many uh, buildings so close to each other. I'd like that. I'm um, call call me suspicious, but I'm going to have a little uh, cheeky little gap, a cheeky little fire break in between these buildings. <laughs> call me. Call me suspicious when I um, uh, do that. Uh, we'll see. It really depends what the excess is in. I mean, I suppose excess is excess, but I don't know exactly what we're storing on the ground right now. It says exposed stores, and I don't know where it's placed them. And I guess it's probably stones. Uh, yeah. Generic storage full, generic storage full. Yeah, it's just telling me that my storehouses are full. But I do want to have a trading post. So I guess if we're kind of forced into it, we can just do it now. They're building the farmhouse. So we won't be farming this year, but next year.
Yeah, the, I, uh, I didn't put the compression thing on, on the clip page. But again, because I was trying to be careful with the sound. It's okay. I mean, the clips, the link to the clip is there in chat, so. No biggie. I'm pretty sure that's going to be a, quite a popular clip when we publish that one. Uh, I can imagine. Um, so the, the, the story roughly is that the king, who's way beyond this, you, you've got the, has, has given you the opportunity to like run and claim, or wants you to claim this, this region. Uh, yeah, and you've got diplomatic and sort of aggressive ways of going about it. But it's not like a big, long uh, story thing or whatever going on so far. I mean, you're kind of making your own story with with how your attitude and behaviors towards your neighbors and whatnot, I guess. But I could definitely see that being something that's fleshed out and developed over time too. You know, put a nice layer over the top of it. I think the focus has been first and foremost to just have a really solid, consistent experience in the game. That is also very cinematic and immersive. summoned <laughs> so we were doing level two on the construction there yeah and this one is oops that's already level two there so I think maybe we're at the point where we need to build again. We did build two more level ones. Let's see. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Oh, it tells us up here, doesn't it? So we've got 19 level ones, five level twos. We need two more, and then we need three level threes, but that they are out of reach for now. Yeah, exactly. We use the Book of Grudges. First entry, lightning. Second entry, bandits. Third entry, it's a permanent long running grudge uh, against winter. Not doing all that good on fuel again as we head into winter. So I think we're going to chuck in another wood chopper. Since we have enough labor spare. Food wise, nine months, not worried there. Even if again, we're still living off of berries, which is kind of sad. You know what they're going to moan about? They're going to moan about variety of food. I mean, not enough food. All right. Uh, I have one garden over here. Um, we're currently saving up our coin. We have enough for a second one. 
but we uh, are saving up the coin once once ox bitten twice shy or something like that I'm saving up the money for a second ox and that ox is going to be permanently assigned to the saw pit unless something should change such as another lightning strike and we'll take it from there And then maybe we can move towards the sheep. Hey, cow hands. Moo. Thank you, bud. I hope you're having a wonderful day too. Pass me the hammer, will you? And I am aware of the rumblings around you know, chicken eggs and vegetable gardens being overpowered or whatever. But I'm just playing it the way I'm playing it. I'm not, I'm not, not, I'm not per se trying to win. I guess I'm trying not to lose. <laughs> oh, we're just playing it for the experience, the preview experience. Just so, just so that that's uh, clear. I, I am not entirely ignorant of the possible ways that things could be done differently but I'm also and just not that bothered either I'm, I'm having a ton of fun playing the way I play in slow mode so thank you for the 20 for long months of subscribing spas hey spas thank you for the prime gaming on the line and the 24 months two whole years of subscription support Thank you, Sposs. Very humbling. Very much appreciated. Also, when people say about those things, I'm not... It's not a response specific to those comments. I'm saying just in a broader sense. I've seen it mentioned in a few places about the... The eggs and the gardens and stuff as examples. I'm not... I'm not just not worried about it. I'm I'm happy. I'm I'm my fun is coming from building dogleg gardens and you know asymmetrical villages and weird farm plots and stuff like that. Oh, that's how I'm getting my fun, as well as just enjoying the beauty of this game. And obviously, you know, predominantly just hanging out here, having fun with it. We just cannot. We hula. What is going on with with the with the whole woodworking thing? I th I do appreciate that somebody called Stump is now one of our lead carpenters. That's that's pretty solid. Stump the woodsman. <laughs> yes, it did. <laughs> bum, 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 bum. I don't know who does the roof tiles. to build the um we need to build the windmill to make the grain yeah 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 okay oh the clay furnace of course that's how we're firing the clay tiles okay don't completely overlook that one completely overlook that one the clay furnace. Okay. Okie dokie. Because that's what we'll need to upgrade our church. Huh. Now, do we want to do that now? Or do we want to wait? Maybe we'll wait a little bit. Next month, we can afford another ox. I wonder if... 
I should. Well, I get. I might not have a choice. I might not have any choice. Okay, I'm gonna wait with the upgrading the hitching pole, building another hitching post. I'm gonna see what adding the permanent livestock to the saw pit does. If it adds a little space for them, or if they can maybe sleep in the in the trading post indefinitely that would be an option too though I, I suspect in the end we'd have to build another hitching post uh, da, 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 da. we can't build our apron yet either without the uh... that's annoying without the planks. I'm not sure where, because we've constantly got all the wood. Is it, it could just be the ox thing, the bottleneck, because we're constantly building something in parallel. I suspect that it could be it. Nearly there, though. Next month, we'll be able to get another ox. Then we shall see if that is the answer. Being oxless sucks. It sure does. It sure does. It is nothing but a waiting game at that point. And if you haven't already got to level two buildings at that point. Or established trading, I guess. I guess without those two, you're kind of, you're out of it then. No, I haven't lost another one. We're, uh, we're, we're getting close next month. As soon as October ticks over to November, we'll be able to get another ox in. I'm wondering if it's I'm wondering if it's also related to the the storage situation don't know I'm not having anyone work the farm yet doesn't seem like there would be any point in that at this uh in this month Okay, let's add somebody working here. Morley's gonna take care of the trade for us. Oh wait here, no trades. Import. Desired surplus. Current surplus. Okay, we set that there. And then we wait until we have enough coin, I guess. I think we can, uh, judging by those numbers, it, it, it implies to me that we'll be able to keep one, uh, one animal there. One, uh, um... Beast of burden there. Yeah, we have uh, a disappointing lack of, I mean, so it's funny because people have said eggs are OP, but like how many eggs, because I've got one chicken coop and for me, they're definitely not OP. They're barely producing enough to keep people 
with a, a varied food supply. Winter is approaching. Are you saying people are not ecstatic about that? I am. I suppose what it is doing is it's ensuring a varied diet and eggs available, at least for that house. They should be selling them at market if there was enough. Maybe it's a scale thing, like if you get three or four of them or if people have been spamming them into like spending all of their coin on vegetable gardens and eggs maybe that's that's the thing i am suspicious about what what are we what else are we constructing we're not constructing anything else. I'm a bit suspicious about it's taking so long. Yeah, because they're just waiting on the wood supplies to come in. So, you know, it's like assign somebody to, to assign a family to permanently work the stable space, the hitching post to make it more efficient, right? I feel like since I've done that, it's become worse. But it, it may just be in my mind because the building work being done was like all the way out here. But like, what even is the ox doing right now? I'm... Uh, I'm wondering... Is it, is it living here? No, I can't see the livestock anywhere. Yeah, that's the old one that died. Is it that the hitching pulse needs to be reconstructed, like replaced? Is that what's going on here? Is it not registering? Wait, why does it say Oh no, okay, because I can afford another ox now. Where's Albrecht gone? Where where is Albrecht the uh the ox? I can't see him anywhere. I've got a suspicion that that hitching post might be uh maybe that's tied to that ox being dead on the street there. That maybe that's a thing? Because... Oh look, it says I have two now. It says I have two now. It's also showing the dead one on that list now. So advance, we're going to assign one here. Okay, that's filled in. So that means he's assigned. Albrecht is now assigned to the saw pit. So where is my other... That's Albrecht. And Lady L again is waiting on the ox handler. Or is waiting on something.
Okay, let's see what happens now. Whether we get our, um... We have to wait for the tr the trade guy to turn up. With that other ox. It should come in down here then. And he'll come in via one of the main roads. Who are you? That's Falcon. So it takes a little, it takes a hot minute. But from one of the trade routes, like here or here or here, uh, there should be a, tra a trader walking in with a hood. And he should be guiding an ox to us. If we can bump into him. I mean, ideally it's coming from that one there because that's the closest, right? But don't know how the game logic works for that. Imagine they're bringing the ox in that we've paid for and it gets attacked by bandits and killed. That would suck. Yeah, so the hitching post hasn't updated from the death of the other one. And I'm starting to be suspicious that maybe it's broken. Um, because also this one hasn't been cleared up. Uh, so we're just going to wait a moment. And we're going to see maybe I have to demolish that hitching post and create recreate it. Definitely spent my money though. And it definitely thinks that I've got two livestock. I just hope it doesn't now think I've got two livestock. Ah, uh, wrong. Ah, uh, no, close. Uh, panic. Uh, yeah. So it says I have two oxen, one of which is unassigned in the brackets. So that matches up what I'm expecting to be set. I just don't know where the other ox is. It, you know, it'd be pretty hilarious if it was counting the dead one. Like that would obviously be a bug, but you know. Ox or Bisto? Mmm, <laughs> Bisto. I wonder if I do... T if I build another hitching post. Before taking that one away, if that solves the problem. So they're there transporting timber. And now what's the problem? Oh, so maybe the full storage. You know what? I really, I think the full storage might be an issue too. Because it does say they can stop producing. If he thinks he's got nowhere to put the logs, right, the planks, then he might simply just not produce any. And I tried to use the, um, I tried to use the trading warehouse as a, or a trading house as a solution for that. But maybe it isn't a solution for it.
Okay, so I've unassigned. Oh! Huh. Now it's suddenly started working. What? That's interesting. Yeah, the problem is I need the ox. So the ox is required in all your construction work whenever any heavy materials like li like timber have to be moved around. So it's kind of a catch-22. Right, we can't progress building the trading post because it needs four pieces of timber without having the ox uh, available to do the work. And I would have expected by now that the trader would have arrived with our second uh, ox. So I suspect... Uh, I suspect that they, uh, that thingy bob is busted. Hmm. Or at the very least, I would have expected that they would have delivered my second ox um, into here. I'm very worried that this showed up. It's almost like it thinks. It's almost like it thinks that that one is still existing and, and of use. You know what? We just build a second hitching post. We'll see if we can sort this mess out. And I'm going to build it near where the lumber and everything's being done. That should be the highest priority. Well, they've started clearing that area now. Let's get another family available. Because we've got tons and tons of timber. Uh, but again, I think that the... Uh, oh, look at that. We could have assigned our livestock to the logging camp. I wonder if that will help. I wonder if that will help because there's already... There's no point in him going out to grab freshly cut logs from all over the place, which is taking forever to travel there. When we already have some... Yeah... I've missed a trick on that one. We should have assigned uh, him to there because that's that's an absolute ton of uh, wood to be delivered close close by. Um, there's no like butchering in the sense of like giving a direct order. I would have assumed that they would have dealt with it, but I I think. Or I, no, I, I suspect, yeah, that um, that the ox dying the way it did is some is like a bit buggy. I'm not saying that it shouldn't have died. I think that's a, a really cool thing and a really excellent feature of the game. In my opinion, I think that's that's an awesome like extra risk, uh, an element to manage. But I think that. It may in this particular case have bugged out because of, because of the fact that it's still showing as registered on here and we haven't been able to put it in like the corpse pit or anything like we just haven't been able to deal with it at all and I don't know what the intention is but it would be it would seem fair that if you lost your ox like I did and it was your only one it would seem fairer I don't know why I get stuck on that bit of road either. It would seem fairer to me that, say, you'd have to free up, I don't know, three families or whatever, if that's like six six adult males, and they should come along and be able to drag, you know, maybe sl slower or whatever, but they should be able to come and get the logs and move them. Oh, so it's going through a puddle or something. That's why it's taking longer. 
I'm not sure. Maybe. Uh, yeah, I think that would be pretty cool. And again, it might be something that's on the to-do list for the dev to do, for a dev to uh, pick up on. Hey, Mims, you are. You are still alive. Look at these ruffians here going through our town. Get out of it. Get out of it. This is not the this is not the medieval town you're looking for. Go go about your business. Yeah, quite a few people didn't make it. <laughs> Uh, thank you for the sub to the channel over on the YouTube. Uh, something about Legoland. That's that's a really long name. But thank you very much for the free sub over on YouTube. I really appreciate it. We're trying to get that one to grow a little bit as well. In parallel would be great. That's just a casual flex. The Brotherhood of the Forest, like, look at our strength in numbers. Casual flex walk through the middle of my town. Let's straighten this up. Oh, look, there you are. So there you go. It does work like that. He is staying. Uh, he is staying at the livestock trading post. Awesome. So I was right, at least in that assumption by the looks of it. Two of two. Spe okay, here we go. And that's why the other, that's why the other ox hasn't arrived because this space is still taken up by the dead one. Okay. gonna have to wait for that uh we're gonna have to wait for that new hitching post to be ready if we if that does then suddenly kick in and work and the second one is delivered uh then at least we've learned how we can work around that bug if it doesn't then the next step will be to delete the original hitching post uh and we'll take it from there Yeah, I looked at that before, but I don't think it was... It, this is not a demolish. This is... you would... You, you, there you're demolishing the hitching post. We're men, men, manly men, men and tides. Oh, I could have relocated that hitching post for free. What if we relocate that hitching post? If maybe that brings it into action. I wonder if the meat is still good. Uh, it's been a few months through the summer and autumn. I, I don't know if I would trust it. <laughs> I mean, it could be argued that it was it was smoked. So maybe. Aged beef. I don't. Well, I think there's a difference between aged beef and aged beef that's just been left rotting outside <clears throat> on the floor for several months. But maybe, maybe it's really good. 
Maybe it's really good. Built on. I mean, I would love some good built on. I would love some good, love me some good build on. Cheers, Raddy. Thank you for the lurky lurk. It'll be fine as a beef curry, says Val. <laughs> Would it though? I'm not entirely convinced that. So that what you're saying is you've never had a dodgy curry? I think I've really stuffed myself up here with the storehouse thing being out of order, like being full for so long. I should I should have gone my gut feeling, which was add a storage house first, and then the other stuff. But we live, we misclick, and we learn. Or we live, we misclick, we learn a little bit, then we misclick again. It's softening up the meat. I don't know. I don't know. I'm not convinced yet. Imagine if the other one stopped working now because I'm moving that. That would suck so badly. That can't be a thing. I am not a merry man, asserts Wolf. That's that's a funny scene. That is a funny scene. Yeah, I got a pretty pretty strong inclination. That, uh, that the hitching post is uh, and the dead ox is, is a problem. I really hope that they can actually get that moved and or build the other one now. I'm a bit worried that that... I'm a bit worried that that was my one chance to have somebody assigned to moving the animal. And that now it won't work at all. That that would be that would be game over, man. Game over. Let's put another family working here to try and see. But I'm not sure. I'm not sure we can get Albrecht working again now. Because thinking about it, I shouldn't have moved this. Because thinking about it. Oh, we can go like that, highest, okay. Oh, Hamer underscore headbutt. Thanks for hitting that follow button. So I'm not sure uh, how how this is going to work out. Uh, hey, Mr. Mr. Hippe. Mr. Hippe. I hope you're very feeling very happy and having a happy Sunday. Uh, good vibes to with you. Thank you for joining our Good Vibes crew here. Remember, our next follower goal is 11,069. Nice. We're on the track. We're on the trail. I might have to speed it up. I don't I want to play on, not on, on speed one the whole way through, but we might have to. We're kind of stuck right now if we can't. We need. To, I need to find out if my ox is, uh, if I broke my ox. Mr. Nervous in Bulgarian. Ah, oh, well, good vibes. And uh, I'm glad that you can smile and laugh with that. And that it didn't make you nervous. Excellent. Welcome aboard. 
I I'm I think I might have broken it. I could I didn't try that. Let's try that. Let's uh We go back to this one that's from a few minutes ago. That's a good suggestion, Elsie. Thank you, bud. No way! What? We got un unmentionable back. He's not dead. He's just been resting all along. Back from the dead. He was only sleeping. Oh, who said they were only sleeping in the chat earlier? You're an absolute genius. Uh, and that now has the correct name in there. Whoever said he was just resting is an absolute genius. He just took a nap. Yes, get in there. Wait. The stables think I only have one ox. Wait, wait, wait. Maybe we celebrated prematurely. We might have celebrated prematurely. He might not be back. It was a light bit of cow tipping. Oh no. He might not be back. But we, we we have one ox here waiting. Just patiently waiting. Okay, I'm going to speed it up a little bit, gang, just to see if we get out of this this mess with no hitching post. So I'm, I'm literally just running it a bit quicker to see if we get past this situation. I think... Unassigned oxen are needed for construction at the trading posts. Yeah, I know. That's why I have unassigned oxen at the trading posts, don't I? No, wait, there. So I need to unassign that one from the livestock. Okay, so Albrecht was waiting because uh, the storage was full. Now he has a log. Okay. He's waiting, but a guide is coming. Okay, so because he was assigned uh, to work at the logging camp, he wouldn't, and the logging camp had nowhere to deliver wood to because the storage is full, uh, he wouldn't do anything. Got it. Okay, so let's, I suspect that this is a glitch and that we do not have this animal. And what I'm slightly miffed about right now is didn't we buy a second oxen after Albrecht? We did, right? We prioritized. Here comes Skullduggery Jim. We prioritized. Now, if we re if this works out in a positive way, when the hitching post goes down, one of two things happens. Either we get Seaward back, or a trader arrives and brings in a second oxen. <clears throat> Was it all a dream? I'm suspicious, though. I am highly suspicious. Oh, 
Okay, I'm gonna speed it up a bit just to see if we get how we get past this. Because right now we're at a complete impasse. Okay, it's dropped off the one pulse there for use. And everything needed for that job is now there. This is being worked on. Now we've got the post up here. So this hitching post is now ready. It says livestock zero. Interesting. We'll add someone to it. We've got a new storehouse. We need someone working there. And what's going on over here? Oh, this needs four. Okay. Trading post is now built. <clears throat> <clears throat> Excuse me. Oh, look at that. We can have some fun with that in a minute. Uh, and the other hitching post is finished. And... Oh, enemy unit spotted. What? They just snuck in and stole from us. Okay, army, rally the troops. No, it's a raid. Look, they've set fire to. Oh, sugar. This is terrible. This is awful. Get him. Get him. This sucks. Get back here, archers, and use your archery. No! Miss Clicktastic. Shoot him! Shoot, this, this guy's leading them. He's, he's cheerleading. Down you go. <laughs> Get stuffed. Well, that was crazy. What the heck? They burned down my sheep farm they burned down my flipping animal trading post which was also one of my stables
They didn't get this storehouse down. We stopped them just in time. Holy cow. Oh my god. That's just mean. So there's nothing assigned to that hitching post. And there's nothing assigned to that hitching post. Are you kidding? They killed my ox. Are you kidding me? I I'm back to zero ox again. Apart from undead ox. But for some reason now not well while it was on the floor. So we're out of oxes again. And you know what the best thing is? The best of all? I don't have the trading thing to bring it back in. Can I order one from the hitching post? I can, but I've got I've got 11 gold and I need 20 again. <clears throat> the ox is now an X. Yeah, I am not gonna play through waiting another six months for an ox again so we can screw that for a box of pancakes um No, I can't. You need to have the the uh, the animal trade, and it got burned down. There was a glitch in the game, and we had to recover from that glitch. Yes. I wonder if there'll be a bandit attack from over here somewhere. No recent events. Suspicious. Okay, Albrecht is now here waiting. Advanced, take that away. Okay, so here we go again. Highest priority for the hitching post. No. Highest priority for the production, then the hitching post. This one, I think I've already just botched it. Okay, we'll see what happens. Okay. Right. Little speedy, speedy. Bring this here, move that there, on and on. Stocks damaged by weather. Okay, that's, that's okay. We gotta keep a close eye out. Cause I, I, I don't mind the buildings and that. Except if that is where this animal is hitched, then it would make me very sad. I can't believe that. They just raided the bandits just came in out of nowhere. So it said the thing of bandits steal from your storage, but normally you don't see them. But on top of that, they just came running in with torches and started setting light to my town. 
that really sucked timing of that was uh okay you're waiting but a guide is coming so that's good okay speed up again let's keep a close eye on these on this forest here Keep a close eye on this forest. Burgage upgraded. Okay, one more to go after that. Suspicious. No, no. The, the ox is standing there. But the game registers me as having one ox. So the game is recognizing Albrecht. And this is just glitched. What that appears to mean is that the money I spent on another ox is wasted. However, we shall now see. Um, we shall now see what happens uh, when we have a hitching post set up as to whether that uh, issue sort of solves itself if the trader comes in with the other ox. I don't know what happens in that circumstance. I would have assumed that if there's not enough stables, your purchase, just your delivery from the trader just waits until, or at the very least he would arrive and it would say nowhere for them to deliver. Resources stolen by bandits. Okay. Resources stolen by bandits. This is what I really don't like running the game at two speed for that exact reason. Okay, hitching post finished. That's this one. Livestock, nothing assigned. Livestock, nothing assigned. So Albrecht is just living at He's living at the trading post for some reason that I don't understand. So that might have just been an RNG event, like... I can't believe they can just sneak up to your village like that, though. That's really scary. Considering you can't put a perimeter up or anything. This is pretty darn scary. So it looks like I can't reassign my animal... ...to the hitching post. So it looks like he just works there for now. Sign livestock for trade, put to a trade post. So minor materials, crops, food, general materials, commodities, and military. Yeah, so this this thing you can oh order a new horse would have been possible with enough wealth, but it looks like the horses can only you know they won't be used for this general hauling around here. But this has zero livestock assigned to it. 
This has zero livestock assigned to it. And this has Albrecht. Which is also a bit weird that you would think that Albrecht would be reassigned to work from one of the hitching posts. Question mark. Uh, let's upgrade this one to a small stable. Okay, so as I said, hopefully if we're super lucky, but I don't think it's going to happen. If we were super lucky, uh, it would... I'll overwrite that one now. We're playing from Oxfree. If we were super lucky, it would um, trigger that trader event now and he would come in and bring us our ox. I strongly suspect that it's gone. That the money's gone. And we ain't getting our ox. Which is a pity. Uh, again, I assume it's a bug. And it will be ironed out. There's no... You don't have those things at this stage yet, Mikios. As far as I know. You just have your army. Uh, and in terms of construction, you do get... I think some guards and stuff. You get something... Uh, when you put the manor, you get you certainly get like um, palisades or whatever, but I, it doesn't work in a way of like a defensive perimeter of your town or whatever, which also kind of makes sense because it would be a massive uh, undertaking. It would, however, be nice to protect at least the center. All right, panic over. We now have planks. We can make an ap apiary. Your attention, please. Advertisements and that six hour drinks break. Good. I need to stretch my legs and Thank try and clear my head of, of the fuzz of everything that's just happened. Now I'm more nervous going away and leaving. Leaving. Uh, I mean, I shouldn't be nervous, right? I'm leaving you guys in charge. There's no way. This stuff doesn't happen on your watch. So sure i'm sure it'll be uh it'll be completely fine we have a save to go back to worst case let's give you guys a different view different angle i'm i'm just i am genuinely sad about the livestock thing not working but you know it's it's just an early access preview version so it happens a little bit uh a little bit sad. There you go. That's a nice picture, isn't it? Okay. I'll be right back, folks. Don't forget to stretch and have a break if you need one too. Hydrate and all that. I'm not your parent or guardian or whatever, but look after yourselves as well. We need a cart full of oxen. Yes, exactly. All right. Hey, neck gloves. I'll be right back, folks. Thank you for hanging out with us. Yeah, de-stressed. Exactly. That kind of stressed me out. It just kind of escalated. Uh, out of nowhere. All right, I'll be right back.
All right, I have returned. Everything appears in order. Thank you for looking after the village chat. Well done. Well done indeed. All right, we'll do our last little bit here. Mistakes have been made. But yes, fire is no bueno. Can confirm. Uh, the fire thing. So I've had two lightning strikes resulting in fire and rubble. One of them, it was instantaneous. It just seemed to go to rubble and it could be that I didn't notice the alert in time, uh, but it seemed to just be like, bang, you have a rubble building. And the second time, which happened today, the building caught fire. The villagers rallied around and were running back and forth to the saw pit from the well but it's quite a long trek and yeah they didn't seem to be able to make any real impact on the fire and it just it all went to pot so I don't know if the firefighting works at all partially you need the well to be closer the water source closer or whatever but um this doesn't seem to be I mean at least the villagers did react the first time they just took out this storehouse and it just went, it just went poof, gone as far as I saw. So again, that could be a work in progress as well. Bear in mind as well that this is a, uh, a preview release before the, the early access release. So not the final build that will come out in a couple of weeks time. And I'm sure that all the playthroughs and feedback that we're able to give um, through, uh, through this preview will help, um, the, the devs and the publishers no end in, uh, prioritizing any little bug fixes or, or things that need work. What are you guys doing out here? I'll just grab some wood. Okay. Now I have got my animal trade, my livestock trading posts. Uh, I have got it set to purchase another desired surplus is still set to two here for importing. Um, so we should, by the time we take over February, we'll have some money and we'll be able to buy another a second ox. And things will be almost as if they, how we planned six or seven months ago. So it's fine. And luckily that reload got us away from the fire fire starter troop that turned up. So that was some some lucky RNG on our side. I don't know Gamble because I've only run on normal speed the whole time. The only time we had the sped up was after the fire today when we went back to a, re a load and tried to sort this stuff out. <clears throat> so when we had the fire yesterday, it was on normal speed as well, right? So I don't know. It could be calculations based on distance to the well, whether you'd realistically be able to put the fire out in time, how many villagers you have, you know, I don't know what the calculations are that go into it. It could be that the uh, firefighting mainly serves to stop the fire from spreading to other nearby uh, uh, buildings, right? But I don't mind fire being deadly. Uh, at all. Yeah. Oh, 
Oh, that's it. There we are. So it's not, it's that there that it added, I think, yeah. Still a purdy village when it's not ablaze. So, but this will be a bit weird if we get a second livestock. Uh, and we can't. Or, or if it gets stabled here as well. Don't know. Did we turn this one into a small? We did. So we've got a small stable here now. Uh, with no livestock. So unfortunately, we didn't magically... We didn't resurrect um, uh, Betsy. Betsy's just gone. Betsy is now standing and animated. But the game doesn't recognize Betsy as existing uh, for us. So, no Betsy. Betsy is here, but, but no Betsy. We don't get Betsy back. Okay, we can walk through Betsy. It's almost as if you've got to take it. If you want Betsy back, you've got to take the bull by the horns. You've got to take the bull by the horns. Look at this with Je Jeff here. Lord Jeff and Betsy. That's a meeting of the minds, I tell you. That's a meeting of the minds. So yeah, that's a real pity, but yeah, it is what it is. It's quite cool that saw pit because before this game, I would have never seen or, or known of such a thing. And it's now the small stables, a little bit meager. Jeff's calming the ox, telling it his future. The ox will be a grand sausage. Grand Sausage. Oh, Betsy. Bad Minion, trader, imports livestock. Oh, really? Okay, let's have a look at the trading post then. Uh, specimens running our trade. So, uh... Holy cow. It is 18 to import roof tiles and 8 to e 8 when we export them. Uh, stone. We can export stone at 1 per piece. And we can import it at 11. That seems stiff. Oh, look at this. We can pay money to establish a trade route for regular trade of the stone. See, that's where it would investing your your town points, your settlement level points in the unlimited stone, in the deep mining for the unlimited stone. That would that would be worth it, I guess. I think we did import ale. Since it's a major trade, a trade route is required first. And we can't afford that. Okay. So that's changed. The way that works has changed. So it's a lot more expensive to establish these routes. That's kind of cool. So you can't get too cheesy with it too early on. But you could establish a trade route for cheapest chips materials still you know one coin and if we sold like a hundred stone or something it's still not bad is it 
Should we do that? Let's do that. Establish a trade route. Yeah. Trade route unlocked for stone. Uh, my desired surplus. Why is that locked? Oh, no trade. There you go. Export stone. My desired surplus for stones can be a lot lower. Let's say 369. Nice. And then there we go. We'll export some excess stone. Nice. That's neat. Right, Minion, you better do us a good job, man. I, I need that. That trade needs to work out well. So we'll get Chop Chop, get to it. But yeah, that will help us get another ox in, and then maybe even we can invest in some sheepses. Sheepses EAEI, to give it the proper Latin plural. I mean, honestly, as weird as it is to have ghostly ox, the ghost of ox, oxmas past. Is that what it, the ghost of oxmas past? It's kind of better than just having a dead ox lying on the side of the street the whole time. Okay, got one more burgage to get to level two. Let's upgrade that one. Oh, uh, and it's January. We should think about getting some farmers going. Uh, we made it through the winter, even though the fuel supply wasn't that good for a while, but we, we cranked that up. So I'm going to cut that back down again, and I'm going to get a couple of people work in the fields. There we go. If the field's not set to fallow, workers will plow it and sow the crop as soon as possible. Yield will increase as it grows and is harvested in September during the harvest season. Got it. All right. Blame winter? Wow. wow. Rude. We have maintained our tavern all the way through, even though... kind of silly since we've got nothing to serve there i suppose they could be having their meals and using it as a meeting place you mean the season oh sure sure you backed out of that one quickly sure you thought hang on a minute i might get clipped We're still living essentially off berries, but we've now added a few vegetables. Hey, we got a trade done. Good job, Minion. Oh no, sorry, Specimen's doing that. What was Minion doing? Probably skiving off as, uh, as you'd expect, eh? So that gained us uh, 22, or 10 coin rather. So in theory, go, go, gadget, buy an animal. Wow. Minions involved in the import export of livestock. Nice cover story. We've recovered it, chat. We've recovered it. For for a short while, I was or my mind was already racing in the direction of, oh no, are we are we having to start again? Not that I would mind starting again because I do very much enjoy, but I just wouldn't want to do that right away now. Oh, 
Oh, there you go. I can click plus on there to bring them in sooner. Uh, yeah, do that. Livestock order placed. Small stable. Now we can watch what happens when the trader comes in. Now that there's no storms and no danger going on whatsoever. Oh, look, there's a trader turning up with a horse. A horse and cart. That's so cool. That's really cool. Oh, no, that's less cool. An Unreal Engine, an Unreal Process has crashed. No. What will we give detailed information about what you were doing when the crash occurred? Uh, playing Mana Lords. Uh, press and create a preview. Uh, observing a trader arrive at a trading uh, station. Non livestock. No, first crash. How many hours is that? What did we do yesterday? Eight and a bit? Hang on. I can have a look on Steam and see. That's first one crash in 17.1 hours. <laughs> one second, one second, all the DMs. All right, there we go. All right. Load game. Uh, auto save 428. So that's five minutes ago. I'll take that one. Oh, wait, 429. Oh, I did a quick save right after that. Okay, I'll take that one then. When is game due for release? 26th of April. There you go. Thanks, Viper. So don't forget to wishlist it if you're excited about it. Okay, this is just before I did the purchase of the additional ox. So we'll come back to this same kind of spot. There's the guy with his uh, awesome cart. And we buy an extra livestock from the small stable. I'm pretty sure that's just one of those like Unreal Engine crashes that you can get. You know, whenever. Hey Blender, how are you doing? Good vibes be with you. Happy Sunday. It would be interesting if we could breed them. Yeah. I don't know. Uh, it seems to be, or... I feel like it's implied that it's independent of where the animals stay. But I, I could be entirely wrong. It probably is all those stones taking up all that storage, right? I'm gonna... Oh, well, no. 461 well, is fine. I was gonna say, we could probably stop working the stone uh, cutting for now until we've got the deep mining technology so that we never run out.
or we could just build our manor as well. Uh, 20 planks are needed. So is this storehouse now gonna... Oh, sugar, chat. Oh, sugar. Oh, no, we could have upgraded them, the storehouse, to a large storehouse. I've been building all these extra ones. Oh, snap. Okay. That costs 10 planks, but that increases the storage from 250 to 2,500? Oh, my lordy. Oh, my lordy. I didn't spot that. And the granary takes some rocks and some more planks. I mean, the pantry's never been an issue for us. We haven't needed a bigger pantry. Oh, snap. So there you go. Don't forget to check all the buildings in case they have individual upgrades that you can process. I didn't notice that. I'm pretty sure we had that in the demo. And I've just forgotten and overlooked it uh, this go around. So there you go. Upgrade your storage, kids. Now we have another plank shortage, but we'll get there. Exactly. That's kind of cool, though. At least I noticed, noticed it now. Better late than never, eh? This one can upgrade to a level two as well. Okay, it's now showing us we have two oxen unassigned. Is this the other one coming in? Ox handler grams with what's the ox called? Don't say. Oh look, and we have Bartholms and Olbrecht. I think he's just being brought in okay so he's just that means he's arrived on the map and he's being brought in from this uh, location out there awesome okay that's cool wow that big storage house is gonna make such a huge difference oh my god well exactly viper but actually we're now up to uh, four storehouses. <laughs> but that's also okay. So that means I can have these ones I was going to do like dedicated for just like construction and stuff like that. So I can probably do that now. Oh my god. All the time with the storage being a problem and we could have just solved it with the one button. Look at that. Food six. Fuel nine. Nice. was bothering me. I don't know why that wasn't connected. Over 9,000. Yeah, that's what we'll call it. Foresight. <laughs> yeah, Bruce Foresight. Mm-hmm. Sure. So the, the uh, bell noise doesn't stick. I'm not too pleased with the, uh, the, the fact that the logging camp, I know you've got this assigned livestock to it, but it's kind of weird that, well, I suppose they need an ox to go and collect the the lumber from the forest to bring it back to the camp anyway. So I, can, yeah, I guess it kind of makes sense. But I could do with like a third ox now so that we can have one assigned to the lumber yard, one assigned to the 
Thank uh, you for the it. 51 long months of subscribing, Ravarn. Howdy and dapper day, my good fellow. Hey, Ravarn, thank you for the tier one, buddy. And the 51 months. Dapper day to you too, sir. Dapper day to you too. Good vibes, Ravarn. Good vibes. Let's go. We've had battles, we've had lightning strikes, we've had fires, we've had oxen die on us, we've had resurrected oxen that now just stand around doing nothing and can't be used. Uh, we've had trading, uh, shenanigans, just, just everything going on. That raid where they came in and burned stuff up though, that is, that is incredibly rude. That was incredibly rude. You know, I think I'm going to just stop the stone cutting for now anyway. We, we we can use the labor elsewhere for now. We've got... So even when we've sold all the excess, we've still got 369 stones. Actually, a tailor would be really handy. Don't yet have a tailor in town. Uh, people are just, you know, putting some leather together. So 100% could use a tailor. Uh, it is an option, tailor's workshop. So we'll, we'll, we'll try and line it up so that you can become the tailor. Got to add Ravern to the game and uh, make you a tailor. Love it. Okay, we do have a whole family there as well. So this one here could be the tailor. The first thing on the to-do list. Five coins and five planks. To-do list. Dapper Ravarn lives here. We get Nick Loves in there. If the game would stop misclicking. We get Valve Bounce in here. Oh my goodness. So when you're typing sometimes, it's... Uh, Taking that as a shortcut command, like that, when I press V for the army. Val bounce, there you go. Just seems to be the V one that's doing it. For science. No, there's not going to be any more fires. We've had more than our fair share of fires today the first thing on the toto list grumbles is to read the to-do list what how can you say it okay because you separated the letters the words apparently the first thing on the toto list Hey, sleep time disco. Good vibes, buddy. You are here super late. You must be really sleepy. Thank you for hanging out with us, uh, disco. Rest well. Have a great start in your week. Let's go. We just made 50 coin. Whoa. We just made 50 coin from the horse and cart guy. Let's flip in go. I'm saving that one twice. I think we can go back to the shiny bill. 
I don't think there's any reason to not overwrite that now. We'll go back to Shinyville. Okay. I changed the save back to Shinyville. Holy cow. Look at all that money. We are rolling in it. We are rolling in the dough. Uh, what quickly, what can we waste all that money on? Do we want to buy a third ox? So Viper, it has a setting that it won't name check you if if the name isn't different than the last person that did a mod TTS. So it won't go like over and over again. It'll uh it'll skip it. If it thinks it's done you recently, it'll skip it. I mean, it's 30 per sheep. I could get two sheep. What do you reckon, gang? Should we go all the sheep route? We could get three lambs. It's the start of the year. I don't know how long it takes a lamb to mature. I'm also a bit worried that a lamb looks like a block of steel. Um... Not fixed in that we didn't get our ox back, Elsie. But we... It is standing and animated now. But we uh, have a second ox. And they're both running out of the livestock shed. Oh, no, they're not. One of them is. And one of them is... Oh, no, one of them is, is in the shed, yeah. Or, no, it isn't. Where the heck's the other one, then? Is it on the hitching posts? He just doesn't show at all. Okay, you know what? There's something a little bit off with the livestock. I'm not going to worry about it too much. <laughs> Should I? Um, Ravens is going to need wool for tailoring, yeah. We've got 73 now. Okay, I'm doing it. We're going to go for sheep. So we're going to import... Oh, yeah, yeah, 30 each. So we're going to import two sheep. Let's go. Get somebody to work the sheep farm. Awesome. So we have two farmers. Hey, things are really picking up now. Now that we haven't had very important parts of our village burned down. <laughs> It's interesting, though, in terms of, like, defending your town. It really does make a big difference, right? Where where you're logistically, where everything is, is set out. Because it's going to take a lot longer to get over here and defend this stuff. Or, in other words, result in what we saw before, which was bandits just burning it down. So what we could do is we could get our logging camp area and set them to a work area and get them to clear this here so that we could at least see the bandits coming before they get close to the town, right? So we put that as the working area. And it will pop a warning when the working area is... Uh, is uh empty anyway uh we're doing an upgrade of storage it's still a work in progress here so it's going to be a huge upgrade to storage even if we only do one of the storehouses for now yeah it's too expensive to upgrade the others right now um, but even if we buy the two sheep, actually, it must be close. Uh, where did we have rave honors in here, right? Yeah. So we need five more planks in order to make that upgrade and five coins. So we can't do it just yet, but, but soon TM. And also this having, holding a reserve in here for the building. Okay. It's gone to zero again. So we put that back to five. 
and then we'll have enough for an upgrade. Nice. Actually, you know, we should probably put it to 10, right? Because we do one thing and then we're like... Oh, wait, what was it? It was 10 for a storage house upgrade. So why don't we put uh, 15, 15 logs in reserve? Wait, why is that logs now? Wasn't that planks before? Uh, maybe not. Okay. So we want to hold a reserve here. 15 logs. Uh, that can be used. I'm pretty sure that said, that said planks before. I could be going completely nuts though. Not unheard of. Heat getting to me already. But yeah, no, things are really looking up for us now. Just, just still not, not focused a lot on the, uh, uh, on the military side of things. And it does definitely feel like I'm going to get caught out and pay for that. Uh, we've also ended up making... Oh! I wonder if the... I wonder if, ironically, the Fletcher is a problem for us because it's... Because he's using so many uh, planks up. I don't know if he's... I also don't know. Pause this building. Temporary halts all construction and work related tasks. So I wonder if I stop making. We've got so many bowls. We could probably sell or we need to make a trade route, which is expensive. What if I pause that building and we suddenly find that we've got loads of spare planks? It'd be pretty funny. It'd be pretty funny. Would kind of make sense that he's been using all of that. The raiders come from your neighbors. Uh, seem so far, I believe they've only been. I, actually, I don't know. I honestly don't. Not not one hundred percent sure. So I don't want to answer incorrectly. They appeared to be just brigands, just bandits or whatever. But I don't want to say like the definitive answer. Can you get the ram and the ewe to breed? Uh, yes, you can. Yep. We unlock that technology. So I think by default, they just come there for pasture, wool and, and meat. Uh, but you can uh, you can unlock the, the tech here, sheep breeding. Sheep grazing on pastures slowly multiply. So it's an unlockable. So we've got seven of seven, and now we need uh, level three burgages. But in order to get a level three, firstly, we need to have three additional level twos so that we don't place them all. Uh, and then we also need to increase the third type of food available. So uh, maybe honey. Honey could do that for us. We can get some planks together, and then we need additional clothing. So we do need the Dapper Tailor. And da, 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 look at this storage. Look at that storage. No more storage woes. We are golden. Unless they come and burn down the main storage. In which case we'd be very sad. Excellent. That's actually a, a huge result. Big, big step forward. Because I, I really do think that the storage places being full was screwing up because it says that places will just stop producing entirely if they don't have anywhere to put stuff. So it makes sense. So I think I haven't helped my own uh, progress. Yay, we made one more coin. I think a sheep has come in though. Or is on its way.
Yeah, 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 yeah. One sheep is on its way somewhere. It's not showing here yet. But Cake, Cubby and Falcon are going to look after the sheep farm. What could possibly go wrong? Still making a bit of coin selling that stone. Which is good. Because that on top of the Burgage 2s that we've got now as well. So that's however many per month. It's one per house per month, right? Winter sun up. One, my, one of my favorite moments in the game. Purdy. Game purdy. Game purdy. Can't wait till we've got the little sheeps just running around. Stone here. Get your stone here. Roll up. Roll up. Don't let it roll over your foot. Get your stone here. Oh my goodness. I think stopping the Bowyer, the Fletcher, is actually solving our planks issue. Uh, that is uh, telling us that there is some storage that is full. And it's trying to take us to the building where that's the case, but... I'm not entirely sure how that uh, works yet. Or rather, those are just full. So either they sell the stuff to market over time, or we upgrade the storehouse or demolish it maybe, and then they'll move all the goods into storage. And so forth, yeah. Okay, uh, so the clay firing, we have got the clay to make the better church as well. That's the other thing they want. They want a level two church. And we still haven't started work on a manor. <laughs> now we're just short of planks. So that's another 20 that we need reserved just for the... Yeah, another 20 planks. Imagine I've just screwed myself over this whole time with the Fletcher. With just too many bowls. Which I can't even sell. I'm going to read from a best joke book. Full of laughter. I could sell war bowls for five each. Uh, hello, it's me. I got a joke for you on behalf of Gautier. Every time I open door of my new cooker, I hear a round of applause. It turns out it's a fan oven. <laughs> Big fan. Let's go. Yeah, there you go. It keeps the reserve planks down here. That's what I was misremembering so the generic storage is for what it produces and the log storage is it's only able to process one log at a time by the looks of it rebuild some more housing you want the second opinion what what Build a flax because it's year two. Or it's starting on flax. Okay. Interesting. All right. Well, that's not too bad because then we've got the weaver's hut as well. We should... If it was easier to manage the people, I would have dapper work at the weaver's hut. 
but we can build in his house we can make it a tailoring bench anyway burgage level oh it that one needs to be burgaged as well and in order to do that it needs a better food, food stall supply which means we're supplying enough food variety but we're not um we don't have sufficient quantity uh to get it distributed all across the whole town bummer so tricky so many things to manage i guess we could take the tavern worker away because there's nothing uh nothing doing there right now we won't find fine wares anywhere else winter needs to get cooking yep watching the snow melt away like that as well beautiful another screen grab opportunity pretty uh game yeah there you go releases april 26th into early access uh the developer seems very committed and very intent on the highest possible quality um and and that's and this is the result i love it i'm really really enjoying it it's very relaxing uh even with the bandits and everything on and the ai comp competitive or competing uh ais and whatnot um there's a more challenging difficulty level as well as some granularity to some of the settings relevant to difficulty in your experience uh, and there's also a, a relaxing mode where essentially those elements are there but you have to go and provoke people um they won't provoke or raid you and stuff like that but i don't mind i think the raiding's cool i think it adds another you know another risk factor another interesting dynamic element to what's going on in the world i'm enjoying it Even though I have enough to do already competing with my own uh, uh, memory and brain power. Come on, come on. Planned release date. Well, I mean, they took an extra year from the demo time till now. I don't think... I, I don't think uh, there'll be another... The only reason there would be another delay is if there was something that was really game-breaking. So there's, we've seen like a little bug there with the ox. It's not game breaking, but it's a big, you know, kind of kick in the shins moment. So uh, there all is Mari. Still going. Uh, awesome. You know, so there's a few little things here and there uh, that, that uh, I'm certain they would want to iron out before it releases, even into EA. Um, yeah. Yeah, I think that if you say plan, then you just give yourself some breathing room. I think that's more because of, you know, today's internet culture and people getting sweaty when things aren't. Oh, you said it'd be released at two o'clock. It's two zero. It's two o two. Why hasn't it been released? I, uh, you know, and then. I don't know, review bombing because something released seven minutes later than it was planned or whatever. Yeah, I don't know, Aurel Sun. I, what I would say is that we played um, Stranded Alien Dawn, which is kind of like a 3D, you know, style of that. And it's super, super fun giving you a whole lot more to manage with the z-axis um and it kind of makes me think that room world like that could be really fun 
it could also be super disgusting and probably a lot more intense on PC resources and stuff like that. So I mean, maybe harder to mod for more glitches might come out. I mean, think of the modders, right? And having to do stuff in 3D and with that kind of d animations and modeling and everything. So, but I think that also the 2D thing, um, whilst I wasn't sure of it before I played that kind of game, like Clanfall was my first real foray into that. Um, it's actually got a real charm and delight to it. Yeah, so one of the coolest aspects of... Yeah, agreed, Blender. I like that they have the flexibility. Price information's not given yet. I would imagine it's going to be what I would consider to be reasonable, but I'm not going to... Just because, you know, Hooded Horse um, and the developers in their attitude and and the way they express themselves and whatnot don't strike me as like, you know, here's a AAA price kind of thing. Um, so I think it will be in the fair and reasonable range of indie uh, prices, but I don't know. I'm not going to speculate um or say anything to that because I don't want to. I just don't want to. <laughs> That's it. <laughs> End of sentence. So, yeah, the animals don't come and live, even with the small stable. I could buy more of them. Sheeps! We've got sheeps. We've got one sheeps. We got a sheeps. We can't name the sheeps. Gerhors. The sheep is called Gerhors. But it's not registered as a livestock in the sheep farm. So again, probably another little one of those early access items. And again, keep in mind that the things I'm experiencing, they've given themselves this pretty healthy, from my point of view, two weeks with this preview version to get eyes on, to get excitement and, and whatnot, but also for them to gather a lot of feedback and have the opportunity to view um, and uh, respond to and, and fix uh, any oddities that come up. So that doesn't necessarily mean that things we've seen today are completely eliminated or whatever but it, at least they have the opportunity so i think it's a very healthy uh attitude and approach that they both the developer and the and the publisher are taking to this cabbages cabbages this time round. size of them coming off the back of winter i also like look it's march now and we've still got a bit of frost on the ground so there's even like subtle variations. It's not even like, oh, here's that same season or that same month again this time around, right? We saw a little bit of early snow in like, uh, I think in October. And then there wasn't, and then it was rain and fogs and whatnot. And then it wasn't proper snow again until December in one of the earlier years, so. Why do you have to go and make it weird? Why do you have to go and make it weird, Brow Wiggle? Exactly. This is this is a playthrough, not a review. So we're talking about some of the stuff we like and uh, maybe don't like or would prefer to be different or are hoping to see, um, but in no way shape or form does it constitute a review we're just playing the game see what happens it's too hot today already and it's only in the early 20s i hate it oh hey 
Smokin, thanks for hitting that follow button. Smokin, thank you very much for the follow. Welcome to the Good Vibes crew. I hope you enjoy your time here with us. Uh, we have about one hour left for today. Uh, I don't think I'm going to go into overtime because I'm kind of hot and I'd like to have some rests. Uh, for the newcomers around here, uh, I stream Wednesday through Sunday uh every week sometimes there's a bonus one or life gets in the way but not that often thankfully um so the next stream after today will be on wednesday um i try to put out one extra uh, uh distinct video on youtube each week sometimes i achieve that goal and sometimes i just need the rest or you know life or whatever um, but I try, but all the VODs go to both Twitch and YouTube, so you can watch all the content on there. If you've missed some stuff or you think it would be fun to uh, watch this little playthrough from the beginning, from yesterday morning, uh, you can go back and watch that on YouTube. It's very comfortable for VODs, more so than Twitch, I have to say, still. Um, and other than that, we'll be back, as I said, Wednesday with stuff and things. Uh, in terms of schedule and what to expect I would expect uh, I would expect more mana lords and I would expect possibly some rimworld 1.5 anomaly uh but but I uh, don't want to over commit or, or overextend. Um, but we'll see. I would love to fit in some. It's just unfortunate with the overlapping time frame, and this one is just a preview opportunity. We've only got a couple of weeks, right? So um, to to showcase this to you and and have some fun with it. There is then the full release. There's also the release of Bellrite, which I expect to be just before this one drops, actually. Um, and hopefully I'll get access to that. They're going to be having a launch event over three days. So that's going to be... That is on the cards. Let me just check. Okay, no update on that one yet. Well, it is the weekend, so that's okay. Uh, yeah. So yeah, there's going to be some more bell right coming up, but not next week. Possibly the week after. Um, I should be able to do normal schedule the week of the 24th. Uh, yeah. I have got some stuff going on on the Monday and Tuesday, so we'll see. We'll see. But yeah, as for next week, it'll be a normal week full of mana lords and maybe maybe actually i would like to do some more conan rp as well before i forget that too so i'm not forgetting the conan and moving on already i just gotta i gotta juggle man we're juggling we're juggling so there's there's balls through it flying through the air there's a lot of juggling going on that's what she said <laughs> there you go wanted to check who was going to be first on that one? Silver was like, he's going to say something. He's going to, he's, Silver was just like twitching. He's like, there's, there's, there's a she said coming up. Uh, Frostpunk 2 um, at this stage is uh, probably not on the cards for me because they're doing a buy in beta. So, as far as I've understood, you you pre-buy pre-purchase the game to get access to the beta um and between you know schedule and where i want to kind of spend my money or, or run the pledge um i'm gonna wait on that a little bit uh that said i have got a land long-standing application and you know we've had support from them in the past with the first one so we'll see but as mentioned earlier they changed their uh creator relationship um 
to uh, to just just shipping everybody through keymailer. Um, you know, which is fine, but um, I uh, I wait and see on that one. It's on a hotkey. Yeah, I'm not surprised. It has to be. You do that so quickly and so often. Yeah, exactly. So I'm not. I'm. I'm not in any way criticizing. Um, I think it's 11 bit, right? I'm not. I. It's not. I don't have a problem with it if that's the way they've chosen to go. Um, that's cool. You know it. I mean, it's not really a. I guess it is a closed beta. Is how you'd think of it that way. I don't know. I'll call it a buy-in beta. And if it helps them raise a few funds to get things kind of finalized and engage interest in the game and all that i mean all right get pretty sure that a lot of people down. are going to want to play that Looks anyway like right terms of service drop ahead. stop wiggling your brows <laughs> at us uh yeah however if i can get access to it um what i would like to do is I would like to um, play some more Frostpunk 1, uh, the DLCs, and even maybe the main story again. Um, uh, to, you know, in, in the run-up to that. But I'm sure the other thing is as well, there's going to be so much hype and there's going to be so many people, you know, like with this one, like with many when there's a lot of hype around it. And sometimes it's nice to run something else and give people like a safe haven where they can go and chill and not always see that thing but uh, but i really like frostpunk it's it, i wouldn't say it likes me it's like rimworld i wouldn't say that the game likes me in return but i like it so i would um i would welcome playing it and we'll just see how it goes we'll just see how it goes guys here we go we've got field work going on Lovely, lovely jubbly. Backbreaking field work. Where get the secret of the Whitfield running? Secret of the Whitfield. Which is cool. I've just noticed we've only got five months worth of food. So maybe we can change that up when we get the um the doobly-doos. Also, have we now got the reserve of planks? So there's 15 there in store. Wait, 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 wait. Sore pit. So nothing stored inside, but I think that means we've got that reserve of 15. We've got 36 planks in total. Holy moly. Okay. So we could even do the church upgrade. Or is it time? <gasps> is it is it finally time? Oh, are we finally ready to start our manor, my lord? All right. All right, let's go. Boom. Okay, oops. Welcome to the Castle Planner. This is a work in progress feature. Here you can edit the layout of your castle and plan the construction of new wings and towers. When you press commit, the old layout will disappear and the new one will be constructed. For now, the cost is also fixed. Okay, so this is very different. Uh, add points, remove point, adjust curve with control. So what got walls and gates, outer tower, garrison tower, and attacks office. And place roads. Okay, and then you press commit. Okay. So drag a wall. Walls and gates. Now it used to be that you would start from the back of your building. Is that I wonder if that's still the case? Or can you build anywhere now?
No, I know, but I don't really... I don't have a spot for it. The only place would be if I put it next to where the corpses are. But that's farm... That's good farmland, that is. Am I, have I placed it too far away? What if I... Can I... Can I cancel it? Oh, you can move it like this. Look at that, gang. You can... I don't know how to... Ro oh, this... Oh, look. You can move it and rotate it. Okay, we'll put it a bit closer to the town then. Ah, oh, sugar. That... That is all I built. Uh, wait, that's gone wrong. That's not going to have any walls. Okay, we start again. Starting again. Messed that up. So, how... Don't know how this bit's going to work. So it has to be within this boundary. We're just building a big circle for now. So walls and gates. But it doesn't doesn't look like you have to make a Is it gonna just do it itself automatically? Or do I build a road? Garrison tower increases revenue size, provides 10 garrison space. Okay. Is that a... Hold to rotate before placement. Okay, yeah. So that's just inside. We just chuck that there. Oh, and then that expands our perimeter. We're almost up to the church now. Place roads. Uh, oops. Uh, no. No, boy, no. No, no, no. What, uh. Uh. Sure. We'll go, we'll go with that as the road. Um. I think we've balls it up. Uh, um, um, uh, it seems to think that that we we'll, we'll, we'll just build over here. It's fine. We'll, it's, it's fine. We're just gonna build it over here. Okay. Roads. No, it that it thinks that's the road. Is that the road? I I are confused. See there, it's making a gate on that road. Okay, hang on. Close. 
Okay, I'm gonna try this again. Demolish. I'm gonna end up with these fences everywhere. What? I'm gonna end up with these fences everywhere. Okay, last. I, I got an idea. I got an idea. I, I, I have an idea. Hang on. We'll chuck that there. Commit. We'll build a normal road with the normal road tool. Like so. It's, it's, it's fine. Don't worry. We'll get it done. Right. Normal, normal road there. And then we'll go. No, wait. What? No. Okay. We, we demolish that again. And then we, we put it, we'll just put it on that road there. Got it. Got it. So now I built there. There you go. Done. We got there. Boom. Boom, boom, boom. Shake the room. Got it. We'll have a nice tree in there. And, and there, we'll connect there. Boom. Done. Done. Now we're going to have a gatehouse. Perfect. And it's facing the right way around. Yes. Done it. Close. Okay. And we're not going to worry about the extra fencing that we've got around the place. That's fine. I remembered it was a bit finicky in the demo. It's clearly had some further development and changed quite significantly with all the controls and the different components. Uh, but it looks like still needs some more work. Yeah, for sure. It wouldn't let me commit. It wouldn't let me commit that last part. So it could be that you go in, add the walls in again later once the main building is built. That could be a thing. Not sure. Not too worried though. Uh, we've got 40 minutes. I'm going to go middle speed just to see what happens. Well, I, Cause I think this would be good, useful. For I mean, we can do this on Wednesday as well. Yeah, I also want to not uh, skip the Conan entirely. So we might be doing some double headers. Um, looks like the weather's going to be cooler in the week. So we'll do a normal longer stream. Um, as we go towards summer and things become less pleasant for me, uh, I might switch things up and we might do some uh, mornings and evenings or something. I don't know. We'll play it by ear depending what the what the circumstances there might be a little bit of disruption of the usual schedule, but I'll try and keep it as standard as possible. There's some wool. Yes. Not quite sure. Oh, we have got two sheep. Did that other one just arrive? He literally just brought that second sheep as we came to check on it. We now have two sheeps. This. Nice. Excellent, 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 excellent. We we has two sheeps. We has two sheeps, peeps. We has wool. That means we can start doing the weaving. That means we can look to do the get Dapper Dan all set up as well. Okay, where was Dapper Dan's place? Because I will forget that otherwise. This had to be upgraded. So that's no good. Is there a Burgage plot to that hasn't got a... Aha! Tailoring workshop. Boom. Just gonna do it. And then we'll shuffle the people around. Well, we'll just call it Dapper Dan's tailoring shop anyway. 
unassigned families needed for work what 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 is going on why is there no peeps there should be peeps have we lost villagers no Tailoring shop done. Nice. Oh, because we've got lots of people assigned to stables and things on top, right? I'm going to take some away from the trading. Livestock trading. Wow, that tailoring shop got done really fast. That's pretty awesome. Okay, I'm going to move some people around here. We'll move Jurak, he won't mind. Dapper Raybarn. Ah, no, no. Dapper Raybarn. It's when you hit the V key, it does that, yeah. Okay, and then over here, Jurak is moving in with Nick Loves and... Valve bounce. There we go. All right, let's uh, let them crack on times four with the with the manor because I wanna I really wanna see and then I can think on uh, how the development of the manor spot is. It may just be that we were trying to do everything in one stage rather than waiting for the manor to be built and then adding the other bits and bobs to it. Here goes our little trade fella. See you later, trade buddy. Bringing in some regular coin. Hopefully appreciating our stones. We're actually getting lower on stones. Should be careful. Plus 84% rating though. I know we were in the 90s, but I really would have thought it would be more of a struggle for me with the with the rating. Just knowing the way I am. And and the food circumstance. Uh we seem to do quite well with the food. Uh look, it tells you when the next harvest is now in days. Or the different things that are planted. Yeah. And then on Wednesday we can build ourselves an apiary. Uh, two is the maximum you can have. We can have an apiary. We can look at the tent to the fields. We can see how things are going with the sheeps at pasture. Uh, especially the breeding and stuff like that. All sorts of stuff still to come. And then we can start working our way towards uh, making some booze. And uh, upgrading to the tier 3 and getting to the next level of the village. Awesome. Hey Drax, how you doing? Good vibes, bud. Good to see you. How's the game doing for stability? Uh, I've played uh, 17 and a half hours. I've had one crash. And this is a pre-release uh, press preview, so... Thanks, Viper. Yep. We'll have to see how they want to gather the feedback. Donkey Crew did quite a good job. They had like a one pager to fill out a web page, uh, and it was it was uh, kind of nicely put together. Very simple and plenty of space to put what you wanted. And the various sort of targeted questions and things. I quite like the way they did that. Yeah, not long. Not long. 26th of April. Alright, here we go. Here we go! Our first mana lord, or lord's mana. Policies are now unlocked. 
Click on the Taxes tab after selecting your mana to set levels of taxation. Taxes can boost your treasury and influence at the cost of making your population poorer. Well, I don't really want to make my uh, fuel reserves none. Okay, it would seem important that we should have some fuel reserves. And I get three new people as well. So Drax can work there. Uh, oh, oh little, little bug. That one gets me though. That one gets me each time. Okay, here we go. Uh, Molly. There you go. Drax and Molly together. We'll make this a whole Molly uh, berry. We've got Bokma. Not sure if I know any of your other mods. Okay, your real son can uh, live there. Hang on. Population jumped? Yeah. So I think this is the uh, people coming to... Look at that. It's going on and on. We've got another one. Herman. I love that Herman keeps popping up everywhere as well. Okay, I'm just going randomly. New joiner today. Smokin's in. So now uh, open the... Ah, here you go. Look, this is what I figured. Open the castle planner. So now it shows you what it's going to build. Now the question is, can you remove stuff? Drag to relocate. Wall. Oh, don't want that. Select placed module. Doesn't it? Okay, it sees that as part of this house now, but not that anymore. Interesting. Alt. Yeah, okay. So I could remove this one. Oh, okay. So I would have had to go back, presumably, and edit those ones. So again, that's just another little bug. There needs to be a way of removing those walls afterwards. Um, yeah, plus they just went up instantly as well. So it's weird. That should, those should have been roads, right? That was the road button. So I guess that's the real feedback. The road button for when you're building, when you're doing a castle planner, isn't building roads. It's building wooden panel fences. <laughs> Yeah, it's it's not um it's not clicking it. it. This is not clickable. This it doesn't see that as part of this because we we undid that, demolished that. I thought I was hoping that demolishing that would get rid of it. Um, even though I did it twice on there. So these are objects that I can manipulate, uh, which is really cool, by the way, that you can then make adjustments, remove stuff, extend the walls, all that kind of thing. So you don't have to worry about making a horrible mistake and then you're stuck with it the way it was i think that's really cool system um but uh yeah there's obviously just a bug with the road placement <coughs> so don't use the road placement within the castle planner for now is your workaround easy peasy easy money Yeah, we could, we'll try and see if we can incorporate, but to be honest, it's not that bad because again, as part of the feedback for this preview build, it might already be known. It might already be fixed. Uh, and if it isn't, well, there's your, there's your evidence, there's your feedback, right? Not, not a big, massive, horrible thing, but something that you'd definitely want to get uh, resolved. Okay. This is now unlocked policies, hunting grounds. So this is the rich deposits. We don't have one of those anyway at the cost of 50% reduced yield. So this is just, if you want to have more meat in your diet, you go with that one. Um, and then the strict fasting one, we've seen that before. Citizens skip every fifth meal, reduces food consumption. Cool. Uh, but obviously decreases approval. So not really what you want. And that isn't included yet. 
Cool. So I need to upgrade three more tier ones to tier two and then three of the tier two to tier three. Meanwhile, we have our first uh, big planted flax field. Fantastic. We have 970 reputation now. So our reputation has gone up by building our uh, Lord's Manor. And we have a, a nice sunset. <laughs> uh, oh, uh, so we need to do the clay roof thing. That's another thing to go on the to-do list that I won't remember. But we need to put the clay uh, doobly-doo down so that we can bake ourselves some roof tiles. Those sheep look incredibly happy. I'd be happy too if I had that huge pasture to run around. All protected and, and petted and shorn and looked after. It's a sheep's life for me. Yeah, happy shopping. <laughs> All right, I think that that could be a good place to call it because I feel the tiredness, the tiredness. I, I know Hula was thinking of doing a stream today. But is that like, nah, I'm relaxing. Because I don't see... Le Monsieur. Because I would take you to my woodworking friend. But... It still has Betsy. Betsy forever. T-shirts uh, available in the merch store soon TM Betsy forever Betsy the resurrected the Betsy survived the fire she's the she's the mother of dragons ox ox mother of oxen all right uh I will take you somewhere you're guaranteed to have fun uh thank you everybody for hanging out today uh, I really appreciate it. I hope and trust that you enjoyed the show. I can feel my throat getting a bit sore as well, so I don't want to uh, wreck myself either. And it's just too hot. Whatever. Stop moaning and making excuses. Just ready to take everyone somewhere fun. Thank you, everybody, for hanging out all day today. I really appreciate it. Thank you for all the support and love. Welcome aboard again, the newcomers. Uh, and uh as well on the youtube so thank you for subscribing on youtube if you did so i know we had a few of those today uh well on the road to 1000 there which would be great uh i am gonna take you to and i know some of you might be like oh that guy well we're gonna take you over to see mr cringer he is playing some more mana lords for you and uh i i'm sure he will have sped things up a bit i'm sure he'll be uh, way in advance of where I'm at. I've deliberately not been watching because I want to spoil anything for myself either. <laughs> Even though there's not too many spoilers uh, in this game, I don't think. But uh, anyway, go over there, have some fun. Look after yourselves. I wish you sincerely nothing but peace and love in your hearts. Look after yourselves. That dingus! Oh no, yeah. Uh, look after yourselves and each other because, you know, we gotta, we got to have each other's backs uh, in these day and age for sure. Probably as always. And uh, yeah, I'll see you on Wednesday for Stuff and Things. Probably some of this. And then maybe towards the afternoon, evening, if it's not too hot, we'll switch and play some Conan. Um, if Purple is around. And we can have some RP shenanigans. 169 viewers on the raid. Nice. Let's go. Take care of yourselves, folks. I really sincerely thank you for keeping me good company today. It means the world to me. It really does. 
Uh, good vibes go with you, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye. Thanks to the moderators as well. Another awesome job. Thank you for spending your Sundays with me too. Bye.